starving and waking up tomorrow. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow sick as fuck. My throat is definitely getting scratchy. It's yeah, I'm, I can tell. As time goes on, I'm starting to get a little, a little bit worse and worse. But maybe not. All right, one second. Oxygen. One second, chat. What? Are you live? Yeah. Oh, you are. Yeah. Why? Oh, because the way you said one second, chat, I thought you were losing your mind. No. Oh. I'm not losing my mind. Yo, so you need GG subs? Yeah, I'm gonna get some GG. I literally thought you said one second chat and you weren't even live, and I'm like, this man's going crazy. No, dude, I would never. Yo, I wanna. Yo, gang shit, like, realistically, once I pay my fucking. <clears throat> once I pay the rent for this month, I'm gonna buy the Magic Leaf 1 immediately. I know, you showed me that. That's fucking dope as hell. We didn't, no, no, we gotta go to the store. We, I, did, I wanna show oh, you. you wanna show me in person? I wanna show you the demo. So, the, if there's an. There, so, they, they have a <laughs> demo of the Magic Leaf 1 at the AT&T store in Austin. Uh, so I wanted to show Gary, so because I wanted his opinion before I drop. I wanted to see if he thought that there was a future in this, or if I was just wasting my fucking money. But yeah, so I'm just gonna go buy it, twelve hundred, easy. Make a software for it. If there's any developers in the chat, I'll pay you money. You just gotta just prove to me that you're a real developer. I'll pay you money, and then you fucking, we'll fucking, you know, make, we'll, 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 start, we'll, we'll literally create the future of of live streaming, a hundred percent on, get, on get Mixer. The Gigi sucks, and let's go. Let's go. Or to take it. You're not going to be able to sleep if you take that. I can sleep. It's only, it's only 8 o'clock. I mean, I don't know what time you're trying to sleep. What's the program? We're still going to sleep at 3. Okay, so I don't know. Let me let me explain an idea that I had. For any program. Who's a programmer in the chat and understands programming? Because let me know if this is possible. With the Magic Leap, because otherwise I don't see how... It, I don't know. This, this has to be possible, or I don't know if it's going to exactly work the way I want it to work. So, so tell me if it's possible, programmers. Magic Leap 1, augmented reality headset, has spatial mapping. So you put the headset on, and it maps your, the space around you, so it, it knows that there's a table here, it knows the floor is right there, it knows the roof is right there. It, it, it can map everything. Is there a way to have the viewers spawn something in your space based on pixel mapping? Like, let's say, because it, okay, the, the headset maps the area. Do, are there coordinates for certain parts of the area? Like pixels or something, like geometry or some bullshit. Like, because if you can, if the headset, if you can, if the, if you, if there's coordinates with the mapping, then the viewers can, will 100% be able to manipulate your space. But since this is so new and not done yet, and I'm, we're going to be the first people to ever try this. I mean, I, this is this is the only way to uh, like. It's you're not going to know until you try, I guess, probably. But I don't even know if there's like coordinates on like the mapping. I just assume that there is, right? But we'll see. I don't know. Let me. Once I buy the headset, I'll just you know, if there's any developers in chat who do animation and, and like that kind of shit, just let me know. I'll pay you some money. And let's start, let's make some kind of like, like demos, you know, we can like, we can, we can build a concept with, uh, through demos and shit. And then we can go a little bit bigger once we know it works. Uh, all right. You ready? <clears throat> Wait, I'm ready. You, you need to drive though. Or can you hold the camera while I drive? Yeah. And then you just got to point the, you have to point the camera at yourself though. Okay. And not, I just drive and, and you can point it at yourself. I don't think Kimberly wants people driving her car. Okay. So can you put the camera on yourself? Imagine trusting you to drive the car, not me. I mean, she I date her, dude. So if you if you crash the car, she can't do shit about it. But if oh, I if I crash the car, she she can break up with me, dude. Or whatever, you know? Like type shit, dude. She broke up with me because I crashed her car. I mean, I feel like if I crashed her car, she probably would break up with me, realistically. <laughs> so before we leave, there's no iPhone cords anywhere, right? So my phone doesn't die. Uh I don't have an iPhone cord. Kimberly does. She has an iPhone. Is it one in the car? They might be one in the car. Mm, you can try and check and see. Let me see. Well, we I don't think there is, though. Let me see if I can borrow one from someone. Hold on. Let me just see real quick. That way, I don't want to have a dead phone on that. One second, chat. But yeah, if you're a developer, post in the form and let me know. And then we'll go from there. Because I'm going to buy this shit. I don't know by the end, by probably the end of this month, for like twelve hundred, and I hope I don't waste my money. 
Hold on. Why is, is my stream labs not connecting the mixer? I don't need my ID. We're not I'm not we're not going to drink anything. I don't want to get drunk. So no ID. I don't know where it is. I was looking for my passport. I don't know where the fuck it is, dude. Alright. McDonald's not, nah, bro. We're going somewhere. We're going to no, somewhere nice. We're not going to we're not going to no damn McDonald's, bro. We're going somewhere nice. I'm a developer, Johandro. Bro, you fucking no you're not. You don't develop shit, dude. You fucking sit around and fucking do nothing. Alright, yo, I just broke what the fuck? I just broke my thing. No, we're good. Hmm. All right. What are you doing, Gary? I should always carry my ID. Driving without a license? No, dude, I'm... I, okay. I have my fucking license. I just don't know where my ID is. So let me find it because... Good point. If I get pulled over, I'm going to get a pretty big ticket. They're not going to... like. You just get a ticket if you don't have your fucking ID on you. All right. I don't know what, let me go upstairs, I don't know where the fuck it is, I'll be real with you. I know, I've been vaping a little bit, I gotta stop chat, I've been vaping. I just, I enjoy the flavor, I think, like I enjoy the flavor of vaping, it tastes good. Um, I like the feeling of the nicotine, it feels good. Um, like, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's like, I don't, I just, I, I just don't go, I'm not going overboard with it like I did before, because... Then I, you know, run out of breath and shit and I can't breathe. But if I, as long as I don't go overboard, I can still breathe and shit. Hello? Anyone in here? You're naked? Nope. All right. Where's my ID at? Where's my ID at? Kimberly. Yeah? Don't scream in my bedroom. Why? No. Oh, gang shit. Can I have some of this? Wait, where's our ID at? What is that? Oh, can I have a Reese's? Wait, you're eating a, this with a carrot? Oh my god, oh my god. that looks so much hummus. <laughs> Ew. That's insane. Is it still tasting? Take your time. What, 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 you want that? I'll try my Discord. How are you going to eat a fucking carrot? How are you going to eat a carrot, be healthy, but then eat Reese's? That's why you got to balance it. I always balance it. I don't always eat healthy. That's not how it works, Grim. It is. So, Life is all about balance. I love hummus. Hummus is so hummus is so nice, 100 percent bro. I fucking eat that shit with a spoon. Mm. You wanna try this with hummus? Oh that guy, yeah. Oh that'd be good. <laughs> Ew. Oh wait, just kidding. He doesn't have a gun. We can use oh, wow. um, an earphone. Oh, so good. Do you know where my ID is? Yeah. No, I don't. Where's my passport? No, I don't know where it is. <sighs> Yeah, where you put it? Didn't you have it yesterday? I don't remember where I put it. Uh -uh. I, I really think it's in your car. You said it was in your car. That's what you said yesterday. I really think it's in your car. I think it's like under the seat or something. Hopefully, you shouldn't, losing your passport is like a pretty big deal. Yeah, no, I think it's in your car, like under your seat and shit. When's the last time you even had it? Before, before, all big brother. before scuffed brother. Are you pants tonight? Or are you going to wear yeah, I'm wearing these. Santa Claus pants? No, dude, they're my pajamas. <laughs> no, dude, they're nice. Even Lunar said I look nice. They're nice and silky. Hold on, I got nice silk. Look at this. Do I, don't I look good as fuck? They're like nice and silky and like, I don't know, like they feel good, they feel comfortable. Do you have underwear on? No. What does it matter? I'm wearing pajamas, dude. Yeah, but you just better hope that like nothing happens. Who's touch? who's pulling my pants down? I, um, I, it, there was an accident when, during Scott Parker. Yeah, but we were, we, we, it would have been bad. We were wrestling though, it's different. We're not gonna be wrestling right now. We might wrestle. Mm -hmm. No, dude. My, I mean, unless you want my dick in your face. I don't want that. Well, then don't wrestle me. All right, let's go then. We're going to go do something, so goodbye. Have fun. All right, bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. See you soon. Gonna... Yeah, it's called going commando. Actually, I really fuck free, like, I really fuck with freeballing because it, like... No, I don't like that. I don't know. It feels good. It's comfortable. Let it, just let it all hang. Yeah, I like a little support. Why don't... Why? Bro, the letting it hang feels so good. You feel like a real fucking man. Mm -hmm. And these are super tight on me, so if you try to pull them down, I'm going to clearly, like... I don't particularly it's like, not going to fall off unless you're trying to pull them off. I don't think really like walking around with an imprint of my dick for, like, on display. Public spectacle. I feel like 
I went standing there, I'm going commando, I fuck with basketball shorts on, you just see my dick, there's like fucking people around and shit, I don't know. Try to like, be respectful. I mean, do you see the imprint of my dick on these pants? No. No, you would see mine. (laughs) No, these are small, that's why. We're not small, these are big. These are too big. You're not gonna the car. I have to pee. I'm not gonna get to pee. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I gotta. I'm gonna start the car. Snoopy peed in his in his bed. So it smells like piss in here, and I don't know where it is. So I think Snoopy peed in his bed while we were at doing Scuff Brother because you know we had people washing Snoopy, but he just fucking peed in the bed. Anyways, even though people were watching him, but. So I think what he's doing is marinating in his own pee. I think he's literally sleeping in his bed. I think he peed in his bed, and then I think he sleeps in it. I think he sleeps in his pee. Because I don't know, I'm not a fucking dog, but I think it's like, I think it's like a, an alpha move for the dog if he marks his territory, and then he fucking sleeps in it. I think it's like, to us it's fucking disgusting, but to the dog I think it is an alpha move. And I try to make him not do that, but this is not the first time he's done that. He... When we let him roam the house and we put the bed somewhere else, he literally will pee in his bed on purpose and then sleep in it. And then he wants to come and, like, cuddle us and shit. And I'm like, dude, you've got pee all over you. You smell let's like go. fucking piss. Get my shoes. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We just fed him. Okay, I see you. You say no food, but we literally just fed him. He just ate all his food. He's got water. He literally just ate all of it, so. Woozy, woozy, woozy. Woozy, 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 woozy. We keep him in here uh, when nobody w- can watch him because he pees all over the fucking house. So and then we keep so if no one's watching him, like when we're all streaming, we keep him in here. Uh, and then when we're not streaming, we let him out, take him out, and then then he roam the house. But yeah, no one I like he pees. The house would smell like fucking straight piss all day. So we had to do that. Okay. Where are we going? Go check out. I'm a TV. great, I'm a great dog owner, dude. I just don't want the, I just don't want him pissing all over the fucking house. I take him out four times a day, just still pisses in the house. All right, what'd you say? Oh yeah, we're going to uh, this one. Uh, Lunar sent me the address. Luna, Luna. No, I take him out four times a day, dude. You're crazy. He pees in the fucking house because he is trying to mark his territory. That's what a dog like trainer fucking told me. So, it's not that we don't take him out, it's that he wants to mark his territory and, like, shit, dude. Here. Alright, 100%. My ID's in here somewhere. Oh, yeah, we gotta find the ID before we go. <clears throat> Otherwise, we fucked. There it is. There, it's not. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Alright, we're charging. Let me get the chat here. Hmm. What are the odds that the that we find his ID? What are you guys saying? <clears throat> Ooh, airhead gum. <clears throat> air oh, there's no airheads in here. <gasps> there's one. Airhead gum? What's up, everybody? What's up, what's up? Okay, let's go, let's go. Lunar came over for like five minutes, anyway. I was disappointed. I thought Lunar was going to come. I guarantee this man does not have his passport. Like, let's be real. He's already inside. Like, he doesn't know where it is. He don't know where it is, dude. I don't know. Where do you, where, I mean, where does he put? Where would he fucking put it? We miss high energy, Gary. Did you like high? How, how'd you guys think? Uh, did you guys like? You think I did an okay job on Big Brother? I think I did an okay job on Scuff Brother. I thought it went pretty well. Like I think, bro. I, I try so hard. I try. I like, like not even like okay. Try over over trying like a try hard type shit. But like, I really tried to commit for you guys and like not worry about embarrassing myself or fucking taking myself too serious that type of shit you know you got triggered too easily nah but the triggered was funny I think I found it you did? yeah hell yeah alright let's go I need let me uh I need you to map <clears throat> for me 
So let me send you, let me give you the address. Let's see. Let me see uh, your map. My map. I'll just type it in. Are you okay? Let's type it in there. Oh, guys, I became a partner on Mixer today, so that was cool. No, you submitted it. Oh, my, oh, yeah, never mind. You think you're funny? Huh? I, I thought I became partner. Not quite yet. Soon, though. Come on, dude. <laughs> Is that what he said? Yeah. But it's a whole area, right? Yeah. Okay. It's a whole area. It's not just a... It just says closed, the place. No, don't worry. Okay. Oh, so we gotta, we gotta leave here. Yes, sir. Let's put the camera down for a sec. Oh, wait. Look at the premises. Okay. Okay, camera's down. Freezing cold. Yeah, so I think, uh, Gary, when's yeah. the, so when's the next time you can, uh, you be down to do some kind of like event or travel or thing? I want to do that East Coast trip. Yeah. I just have to, uh, hopefully I can, if we just do it enough time, then I just can't keep leaving Vanessa. Like, no, the, you should bring Vanessa. No, that's what I'm saying. We just need enough time where I can just. Let her know, like if it's like a month and a half, maybe the end of March, then it's enough time for her to like take out of work and plan accordingly, and then I could bring her. Which yeah. would be ideal. Dude, just bring Vanessa. You should tell her as soon as you can right now that let's do an East Coast trip, an East Coast RV trip and in like March or something. If we can do it towards like the end of March, because the beginning, in the first like week, I'm doing a gig in Vegas, so it'd have to be like after that. Yeah, that was fun. But you should let her know before it's like too late. Yeah, not for you. Do you have your flight to Rhode Island? Yeah. How much is that? Uh, it was like a hundred and thirty or something. It wasn't that bad for a one way. Yeah. That's not bad at all. No, so I'll go to Rhode Island. I'll be there till the fifth of fucking uh, February, and then I'll go back to LA. <clears throat> and I'll be in I'll be in LA all February, and then March. I gotta go to Vegas for a little bit, and then you maybe do something after that. You can move the cam up a little bit. But yeah, that's cool. Let me get a. Uh, I really wanted to go chat. to the. I really wanted to go to the haunted house. I know that'd been dope. The fucking uh, St. Louis one. That's definitely the best. Did one. you actually feel like slightly scared last time you were there? Like 100%. a genuine, genuine oh, yeah. fear. Oh yeah. Really? That was the best haunted house I've ever been to in my whole life. The whole, the best one in the country for sure. St. Louis, Missouri. That place is fucking insane. That that fucking house. It's so, like, it's clearly haunted. It's so scary. Yeah. You and think though? So? And I don't really like. I don't. I don't know. I didn't really believe in ghosts that much. But for some reason, when I went there, it was just a vibe. Maybe, <clears throat> you know, maybe they did that on purpose. They like make you feel like a vibe, so you know, so it's like part of the touristy thing. But I mean, that's obviously. I mean, that's my thought process. Okay, you have this haunted mansion. You want to keep people to keep coming, so you kind of have to tweak things and rig it a, a bit for them to keep coming. So you make it seem like it's haunted. Maybe you make the, the doors and everything a little creakier than they should be. I don't know. Maybe you have some sounds happen here and there. You have certain rooms set to certain temperatures but because it make you feel like you're cold all of a sudden. I don't know, man. There's things you could do. But it's not even all of the physical stuff that made it seem like it was haunted. It was the it was the feeling. Like, yeah, but it's it's a lot of it's you, a lot in your head. Like you're just you're okay. Do you, if someone is looking at you and you know how you get like a feeling that someone's looking at you, do you think that is just in your head, or is that like a real thing? I don't know if I really get that feeling. You've never. I, I've I've heard, I know the saying, and I know people say that. You've never, but I think it's just that logic that you think you're you can feel people watching you is just because. Like, think of it this way. I don't know if this is true, but this is like a counter argument for that. What if every now and then you feel like someone's looking at you, and then you look and they are, you know? And that happens like a couple times out of coincidence, and now it's making you believe that that 
myth of you can feel when people are watching you is real when you're just you're just kind of tricking yourself into believing it because it happened a couple times where most of the time when you feel like someone's watching you and you look over there's nobody there but you just remember the times where there was somebody there and those are the, like the coincidental times I mean you're right I don't, I, they're I putting I, like a weird frog I don't know what that means what's that? they're putting like a weird frog do what, they think I'm stupid? what is it doing? he's making like a, a face like hmm like he with, the, with his hands yeah. put together what does no, that mean? He's just, he's thinking. Oh, he's thinking. <laughs> he's just, he, they're, they're, hmm. they're thinking about what you're saying. Oh, okay. They're thinking, you know what but I mean I, though? But I think, I think it's like, I don't know. I think if you went there, I think you would feel a different kind of way. You don't the think the only way to know, this is how you know, hundred percent. You take somebody there and you don't tell them that it's haunted. That's brilliant. True. That's fucking brilliant. Sorry, that's brilliant, dude. Yo. You bring somebody there and you don't tell them it's haunted. And if they come in in the middle of the night and you're like, yo, bro, I think I'm seeing, like. Yo, you might have a you might have a thing, a reason, though, because you might have a good point, because realistically, we had a pizza <clears> guy come. <throat> we had a pizza guy come and deliver us pizza while we were at the mansion, and I was too scared to go back inside the mansion so I had the pizza guy. And he didn't give a fuck, right? I had the pizza guy go up in the mansion by himself uh, first to see if, you know, if he, you know, to, to make me feel more comfortable. And then he just walked in, no fucks given. He didn't feel scared or not. Well, he didn't feel scared of the house. When we walked up there, we were kind of fucking with him a little bit. Yeah. Say him, like, I was trying to get my... But he didn't walk in and be like, something's off. Like, that didn't happen. No, he just walked up and then he started getting scared when... I started to tell him it was haunted. And why like, are they laughing? Did they see the pizza thing? Is yeah, that why they, it was a yeah. funny moment? They're saying it was funny. Yeah, because I remember telling him it was haunted I once he was already up there, was and like, he thought we were gonna fucking murder him Gary for sure. Like, he was, I think the stuff we were what? saying was scaring him. The house itself was, yeah, yeah, didn't yeah. scare him. But yeah, that was. I mean, you might have a point there. That's the true experiment. But you say you don't believe in ghosts, so if you go there knowing it's it's haunted, maybe you can. They'll still disprove it. Maybe. Also, they could actually physically be doing things inside the house to simulate a haunting. Making room certain temperatures, making things sound a certain way. Like, they could be physically doing things. No, nah, they're not going to do that. You don't think? To make a fucking successful business? If you, if you advertise your hotel as haunted, you want people to go there and leave there being like, oh man, that was haunted. That way they tell others so they come as well. It's not just a haunted, like a haunted mansion, though. It's also like a historical place. You know, it's a, it's a cheap hotel and a historical place. Okay, so for a hundred dollars a night, it's the entire, you get the entire mansion. Yeah, how is that possible? Because they rent it out to like five people at a time and there's like five bedrooms or something. So they get like 500 bucks a night and they probably, you know, St. Louis, it's super cheap to fucking rent the land. So that's probably what it is. So we could go there for a hundred, we could go there with like five people and for a for hundred bucks. hundred dollars a person. Oh, a person, okay. okay. Yeah. But you can go there, $100 can be like two people for like the same bedroom. But if we all went there, if we went there. Believe in ghosts? You guys believe in ghosts? I don't. I mean, I didn't it's either. I'll say it, we're back. I didn't either, but I definitely do, I do now. I was fucking scared shitless too. It's just the vibe, bro. I, w I really want to bring you. I wish you had like an extra two days. We should have went before. Big brother? Yeah. What do you mean? We didn't have any time. I was there like five days before, wasn't I? No, you nah, came. Not you came and then we immediately went to PAX. <clears throat> yeah. We can go. We can go sometimes. Oh! Haunted Mansion with the augmented reality headset. So then the, the viewers could just scare the fuck out of me. Viewers could scare the fuck out of Like, imagine they, they somebody donates like 10 bucks and it like pops a ghost up in my fucking vision. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. or some bullshit. Like, I don't know. That could be funny, but then that would just, I don't know. I, then I'd be scared from the, the, the real ghost, fake ghost. If I, it popped up at you and it like made like a loud screaming noise and I, like was huge in your face and actually scared you and they could scare you with embers. Yeah. That would be sick. I'd have a heart attack though. Because it, it, the, the headset also has spatial uh, audio, like 3D audio. So it, it would be, I would just, I'd probably have a heart attack. That'd be fucking scary, dude. For that, that 
like you're saying. Uh, you good? Or just take, you know, four miles. Tell me when to turn. All right. <clears throat> Possibilities are endless. I really want that headset. I'm gonna get that motherfucker. Yeah, it, it looks pretty cool. I gotta see it in person. In person. Oh, let's, let's, tomorrow, let's go. We'll, right. wake, we'll wake up early. We'll go to the. It's place. probably like you could, where? You could just stream yourself trying it for the first time. All right. And then. Yeah, we'll go do that. We can show the viewers. And then I'll stream, you know, the thing at three. We'll just meet up in Luna. Luna, Luna. Oh, then. Oh, it's all. It's in the domain. Oh, fuck. It's gonna cut me off. It's in the domain, too, where the demo is. So we, then I, I was literally just gonna say that maybe it's in the same maybe there's an AT&T there or whatever Yeah, then I could show you that well, it's only at one AT&T store. Oh damn we could go early And just I could do it go first and then we switch over. Yeah, exactly But go the, like 12 the demos at that one AT&T store in domain So then you can also see the domain and we can stream there with you for a little bit In domain. Yeah, yeah. that's then, where you want to go with Lunar as well, right? Mm -hmm, maybe not Lunar's got a, a list of places he's gonna take Okay. Take us, so I don't know if demand's on the list. But. All right, fuck it, so we'll just go a bit first. I mean, Lunar said he wants to bring me, like, outlet balls and shit. <laughs> he's going to be more, dude, I already predict it's going to happen. He's going to be all about trying to find you good, cop, like, uh, outfits and shit, and you're just going to be, like, goofing the whole time. Like, you think he's going to take it serious Of course. Well? He's going to take, like, he's going to, like, I think he's going to try to get you a good outfit, and you're going to be like, does this look good? And it's going to be, like, all ridiculous. Like oh. just let him find, get, let him help you out, you know. Let him get him some fresh. Like, oh, you think I need a guy to fucking help me dress up? I'm not no, a, I don't. But like, I I'm feel like if dress. he. No, I know. But if he's gonna do it, let him do it. I'm just curious to see what vision he has for me, right? Or just like everything he put, like wear, put it on. Imagine you just put on, you put on the wrong sizes, you wear it wrong backwards, you fucking it all up. He's gonna get so frustrated. Here's I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to fuck with him. I know. I'm saying. Yeah. So, so, I mean, because like, I'm just curious to see what his vision of me is. Uh, so, you know, it's gonna be interesting because like I don't want to like bro He wants me to get a grill and all like all this shit, dude. You're gonna get a grill. You should he should literally just We're we going oh sorry But I mean a grill like I don't want to spend a hundred fucking bucks on a grill. Oh my bad you fucked it I fucked it up. We're only five minutes away though. Just put this here. Yeah, I'm not gonna fucking wear a grill like with like unironically, you know Yikes Yikes. Or like, I'm not gonna, like, I'm gonna wear the grill ironically, like type shit. Do you think he wears his grill unironically or ironically? I think ironically and unironically are not as meaningful of a term anymore. Why? Because I think everybody's kind of liberal and like open-minded to wearing all different shit. And it's not that big of a deal. It's kind of like, an, I feel like it's in between now. He likes how it looks, but I also think he's trying to fit the character of Lunar the Rapper. Take a right. And then also... Fuck. Fucked it up. How'd you get there? Wait. Wait. What? Oh, no, there was a donut. I was trying to read it. I don't even know how to get there in these new, in these new stupid stream labs. Oh, is it events? Yeah. Here's a stream idea. Travel to several other haunted hotels in the U.S. and have a viewer join you for the night CX. That was catalepsy. He was, we, we, uh... That's a good idea. Met him at PAX. That's a, that's a good idea, but it's hard to find haunted hotels that I can just go into. The one in St. Louis is so good because... All right, it's coming back up. We're good. Yo, we back, guys? Yeah, we're back, we're back. Yeah, that's a good idea, Caleb. <laughs> All right, so... So what are, you, what are you gonna do for the next 
I don't know, a few months in LA? Um, I'm going to get more focused on doing what I was saying with creating characters on my stream, probably starting out by putting the people that I'm working with on music, maybe interviewing them and getting them more involved in my stream. Maybe do more streams with them, like off out of the yeah, studio. Yeah, exactly. So I do a stream with them outside of the studio, and then they, the people get to know them, and then I bring, then I do a studio in that order. I think that's why with, obviously, with, why with Cap, uh, Full Cap, the streams that I did with him did really well, because it was such a, stor a story leading up into it, you know? What's the what's the plan for platforms? Like what's your platform plan? Plan for platform. I just don't want to keep talking about platform plans. I just I just I'm, I'm sounding crazy, you know. All right, I'll just. Do you know what I mean, though? We'll just see what when it happens. We'll just see what you decide. They're all putting the sweating frog. I just. <laughs> well, I didn't. My driving is great. I don't know. Is she looking at you? I don't know what the hell y'all talking about. If that's the case. But realistically, I think. No, I think she. I think they meant from the question, because you you put me on the spot about Twitch or Mixer. Oh, is that why they're doing it? I think that was by the frogs. I think. Uh, I just, I just, I just don't want to open your stream when you get back to LA and see you on YouTube. At, at this point, I probably won't. I won't stream on YouTube. It'll either be Mixer or Twitch every time at this point. And that that's probably how it should be. Yeah, because Mixer was just to drive traffic, and also because I made more money on Mixer. I'm, I'm sorry, YouTube was to drive traffic, and also because I made more money on YouTube. But I don't really make money on YouTube anymore, so that is eliminated and the driving traffic I think I don't think I can still like keep filtering people I think it's over I, I think yeah I think YouTube it's right here by the way is a, is a waste of time forever. I, I think, think you, YouTube's a waste of time at this point like, yeah. at least for you at the moment mm -hmm. I think it's either I think it's either every time I go live it's either gonna be on Twitch or Mixer yeah so Twitch would be like more for yourself and then Mixer will be more so I can help you mm-hmm so it's like you got some sometimes for yourself. Sometimes. I mean, the chat wants me to be on Mixer for sure, but we are we're on Mixer, obviously. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this is the area. Okay. So I mean, Lunar, I have never been here. So Lunar told me about oh, it. Oh, nice. So it looks. Uh, it's nice. Looks I mean, no one's here, but it's uh, nice. So there's some nice like things around here. Nice little restaurants and things. Let's find a place to park. Check it out. I said they would be open right now. Everything. Just see what's open right now. I think I think it comes down to I think it comes down to this ready mm. if mixer grows it's a and I can like okay I think I can go on twitch and become successful if I work hard and I do what I'm supposed to do right I think I can but if mixer grows and I'm there from the beginning and I grow with it that's huge but if it but if mixer doesn't grow then I'm kind of fucked not fucked, but then Mixer's not going to work. Mixer like, needs to grow. Time. Mixer needs to grow. But if it does grow, then I'm there from the beginning, and it's highly beneficial to be getting something on the ground ground level, and I will grow significantly with it. But if it does not grow, then Twitch was the better decision. Is that fair to say? Yes. That would be very fair. Yes. You have. It's just risk versus reward. But it is growing. Mixer's definitely growing at the moment. I mean, hey, Shroud, when a couple weeks ago, he was getting like 5K viewers. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, I'm seeing him at like 7, 10K he viewers. He had a lot today. So, I mean, we'll see. It looks like it's growing. Um, I'm trying to parallel park right here, but I don't think I can fit it. You see? No, you can't fit there. This is like a super... You can't fit there. It's way, it's way too small. I'm going to try that. This is like a super posh area, he said. I could tell. There's a lot of poshy things going on right here. He has 11k right now. That's what I'm saying. Like, I've Shroud having 11k. How many eight. did he used to get on Twitch? Like 20, 30? Nah, he used to get like 50. Damn. But. No, 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 I understand. I'm just saying that's, he was big. But yeah, I mean, a couple weeks on Mixer ago, he was getting like 5k. <clears throat> I don't know if if he's been, is being hosted by Ninja or something, but that, if he's getting 11k, like off the bat like that, that's a good fucking, that's good growth in a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. So, and I. I see a lot of the mixer streamers. They're they're getting a little bit more viewers than they normally would too. I've been paying attention to it. I mean, me, you, and Lunar are as well. I mean, yeah. I mean, well, to be fair, you I, had you had like twelve hundred when you were doing desktop earlier. Super fast. Yeah, but it's different though because I just did like an event. Yeah. And it's like that was a spot. But the, was it? I don't know. Maybe this this was a spot. Yeah. It's like I, I can't tell if I'm getting 
more viewers because of like an event or something or well for sure but it's also I guess it doesn't both. matter as long, as long as they're coming on the platform right isn't it's, that why you do the events it's true for, I just hope it's consistent I'm not going to be able to fit here uh, the, other, the one before us was a spot though was it really yeah I think so dude I cannot parallel park for shit or right here on this street what's today Monday through Tuesday you only have to pay till 6pm so we can just park here I can find a spot. All right, go straight and then see. That's yeah, I don't want to have to walk hella far, dude. Is this a fucking spot? This has to be. <clears throat> so we pay to park till six, so I guess it's free right now then. Perfect. All right. Can you put this in your pocket? Yeah. <clears throat> Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go. <clears throat> Let's grab this real good. But yeah, I mean, I definitely can see the growth of my channel on Mixer. I mean, when I first started streaming on Mixer, hold on, let me just fix this. I think when I first started, chat, when I first started streaming on Mixer back in October, what was it? I was getting like what? 500? 600? Something like that. It was, I, I, it was, I can't tell if it was just because, no, I mean, I don't know. Let's go this way. I don't know if viewers just didn't think they I was going to stick with it. Maybe that's why I didn't watch. I don't know. I think you just had, Do you, still you came live on in there Texas? super strong. Are and you and Greek going to hang out or something? And I think the low was like five, 600, but now it's gone like back up and it's just going higher than ever, I think. But you came on super strong, and then it kind of was like, I think people were like, so what happened about what was happening? So what happened was the day that Ninja switched to Mixer, I streamed on it that day, and I went on YouTube first, and then funneled everyone over to Mixer, and I had like 3K, mm -hmm. and then that was the only day I ever had 3K. Every day after that, I'd have like 800 if I funneled them from YouTube. Mm -hmm. So, but then when I would just go live on Mixer back in August with without funneling to YouTube, it would be like 400. So, yeah. but I, I think in October I was getting like five, six hundred, and then now it's like I'm getting more and more over time. So I think, yeah. I think it is growing. Oh, I'm scamming. Fucking don't know. Let me see. I mean, what do you guys think? Do you see Mixer growing, or is it just I don't know? Or do you think it's just like situational? Do you still live in Texas and you and Greek going to hang out or something? I have no idea. I mean. I would, I'm gonna message him and be like, yo, but we'll see. I mean, he said he wanted to like do a workout thing, like off stream though, so you guys aren't gonna see it. But we'll see. Realistically, he's probably not going, so I don't know, we'll see. I feel like he's, I don't know, I feel like we've just gone our own ways. I, like, I don't really hang with the Twitch people anymore. I feel like we're just, we've gone our own ways. You're a mixer man now. I just, I don't know, I just haven't. I haven't hung out with any of the Twitch people in so long, I just feel like it would be a little awkward. Like, I would like to hang out, but I just don't think it would be... I think it'd be too awkward at this point. Just because it's been so fucking long, <laughs> realistically. But we'll see. Let's see what they got here. So, let's see. He said he was here earlier. I don't really... I've never been to this area, so... Let's just go and find those fucking trees again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All those like lit up trees. <laughs> it's also a Sunday. He said that all the shit would be open today. Be like late on a Sunday, but I mean, it's not that not late. Too much so far. It's like eight o'clock. You're fucked. Oh, you had to cut too much content in order to stream on Mixer. Not really, bro. The only content that I can't do on Mixer is fighting people and taking my shirt off and driving. So. Let's go this way. So I, I don't know which which content you're talking about, dude. I don't need to. Uh, I don't need to fight people or take my shirt off for content, dude. <laughs> getting a little cough. Yeah, I'm getting. I'm definitely yeah. feeling. I'm, I'm getting sick. I, I feel. Sick. I don't feel. I don't feel that great right now, realistically. Just being in that house, all that time, all those people, close quarters, everything is gross. Yeah, I know, dude. 
It's not the fucking virus, but it's fucking crazy. UFC X3. Yeah, I mean, but I, that's not that's not my, my that's like was never my main content. It's just an event. Trust me, I could do other events on Mixer that fit their TOS that are uh, not fucking you know like fucking other shit. I like the competitive ones, so I think those do best. I mean, there's like like uh, I don't know, competition ones. Yeah, I like the, the the Big Brother shit was good. All right, bruh, where the fuck are those trees at? Where's that? Where's that fucking plaza? Is it? I can't down tell. There. No. Down there or down there? I think it's over here. I don't remember where we drove to. I wrote. I think it was this way. I think it's too late for this plaza. What's the place? I don't see nobody out here. Excuse me. Where's like a good place to go? That's like more things around here. So where are the trees? Our friends told us like a nice area. Maybe some like restaurants and shops. Kind of like over here. The lit up oh. trees. Kind of oh, I see them. Scattered. I see them. Okay. Look, I see them. Why does no one smoke chronic when they're on Why does no one smoke chronic? Oh, okay, yeah, that's where we passed by. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thanks. No, they do smoke chronic in IRL. Was she? Was she? Hell yeah, dude. Pokemon Go, dude. Still? That's crazy. Playing Pokemon Go, bro. It's a little cold out here. I should have brought a jacket. Bro, I woke up today feeling like such shit. Did you? Yeah, still feeling shit. Not once, shit once, I, once I drink some water, though, I feel a lot better. I haven't been drinking enough fluids. haven't been eating enough. Oh, this looks like a nice little oh, place. place with the fire. Yeah, but I got, it looks like a bar, though. I don't want to go to a fucking bar, dude. Bars, I, I, wanna, I don't want to drink. I definitely don't want to drink. I want to fucking, like, some food, maybe, or something, dude. <clears throat> oh, yeah, okay, this is a nice area. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is this is definitely a nice area. We'll see what's up. Oh, it's the bridge. This is what he showed me. Dead city. <laughs> no, this is no. Austin's not really a dead city. I mean, it's just like Sunday, bro. I don't know. It's fucking Sunday at like eight o'clock. So, to be fair, move to Austin. They said, Bruh, It's Sunday at eight o'clock. What do you? What do you want? We'll see. I mean, there's a guy right there on a scooter. What you want? There goes a guy right there. We'll see. Though. I'm hungry as fuck. You're telling me you wouldn't live in a place like this? No, I would. I like it. It's, it's like, nice. like a nice little, yeah. nice little thing, a nice little area. I like it. I just like LA as well. You got this nice apartment building, go on your balcony, look over fucking the little plaza oh, here. I'm, I'm big. Yo, Vanessa, let's move to Austin so I can fucking make minimum wage. I mean, that's not... As a streamer. You really think you would make minimum wage as a streamer? I don't know. Minimum wage out here. It's so fickle. I'm just not... I'm not... How much is... Know. How much is minimum wage uh, in Texas? 2K a month? 1k a month? Mm. I don't know. I think it's like 1500 a month. Probably 2000. Or like yeah, probably like 2000, 15 or 2000 or something. You do you you don't think you can make 2k a month streaming? I mean, I definitely have made more than that before, but that was like TTS based. And like I don't know, it's not the same, obviously. <clears throat> if only Maybe. ice. Oh yeah, for sure. 1600 a month, yeah. I'd be happy streaming full time. And then, like, making like three grand a month, I'd be fucking pumped. And, and I've made that multiple months on YouTube. But this is not the trees. Where are the trees? This is. These are the trees. No. No, no, no. We're, we're getting... yeah, because we saw this. This is where we came through. No, no. This is where we drove. Yeah. I think it's this way. I think we're getting close though. I remember. Ooh, that smells good. I don't know what that is either. It does smell good though. Yeah, I think it's this way. We're getting close. So what would Vanessa be like if you were just like, hey, Vanessa, let's move to Austin. As soon as you got back, let's, let's go to move to Austin. She, she would just be like, nah. She'd be like, why? And I'd be like, oh, I'm going to go be a streamer. <laughs> and she'd be like, oh, yeah, nah, no. Would she break up with you if you were just like, I don't care, let's move? I mean, I just, I'm not going to, I'm not going to ruin my relationship for anything, so I'll have to figure it out. <laughs> Bro, come on, dude. Bro, Vanessa would love to, what do you mean, dude? What do you mean? Vanessa would love to fucking move to Austin. You just have to convince her a little bit. She would love the city. You just gotta convince her that you're gonna make probably 30k a month streaming. Bro, if I made 30k a month streaming, I'd, I'd we'd break my lease and move here tomorrow. <laughs> Are you insane? You just break the lease, lose your deposit? I don't, I don't give a fuck if it's 30,000 a month deposit is like $2,000. Gives a shit. Bro, yeah. if, I, if I was, if it was like, oh, come here and make 10 grand a month, obviously. Well, what would be like the amount? that you need to just break your lease and come here. 
wife break the lease and come here? Like five grand? Five a month? Okay, that's reasonable. Like five a month would, would be like exceptional. That's reasonable. I'm lonely over here. I need friends, Gary. It'll cost you five a month. I have, I have, I have lunar. <laughs> Give me five grand a month and I'll move here. I need more than just lunar, though. Bro, this is the trees, but... Where's the stuff? <laughs> there's nothing here. Lunar! There's nothing here. No, there's, it seems like there's a lot here. I just think we're too late. I think it's, I think it's too late in the, in the day. But I was sick earlier, so I, I wanted 5K to chill. 5 a month for a friend? That's how much I cost. I wanted to chill, bro. Yo. I cost 5K a month. Yo, realistically, I do, bro, like, you, what about, like, 2K? 2K. How often do we have to hang out? Every day. Every day? Every single day, Gary. <laughs> what, you don't want to hang out with me? You don't want to be my friend, Gary? Every day. Bro, bro I'm just looking for coming some kind of food. I don't see nothing out here. We got a purple bridge. We got a, it lights up, that's lights cool. Up. <laughs> but I want some food or some, dude. Not no, not no lights, homie. What you got with me? Hmm. LA, no, dude, LA was, this guy says LA was non-stop content. The problem is, <clears throat> if I still lived in LA, I would not do the content that I did before. Therefore, LA would be the same as Austin. You know what I mean? I would no, be, that's not true at all. What's the, what, the, what was the non-stop content I had in LA? Fucking homeless people and crackheads everywhere. I think mean, you could find... Like fucking weirdos and shit. I think if you take the current approach to everything you're doing and apply it to LA, it'd be better than applying that approach to Austin. Like, example? Whatever you're doing now. What are you doing now? What's your current like, approach I, to streaming? Okay, I can't, I can't not tell people that I'm streaming and hide the camera, and so I can't go to like events and hide the fucking camera and pretend it is. You just walk in and you just don't hide it. You just don't stop streaming until they tell you to stop. Yeah, but a lot of the uh, stuff that I did that was really good content, they didn't know I was streaming because they couldn't see the camera, so I got different reactions. But I'm just saying, okay, whatever you do here currently, you do that exact same exact same thing in LA, you'd be better. It'd be better off. Mm. I just think it would. I think it'd be the. I just think it'd be, it'd the, be the same. I think it'd be the same. Just I have to spend more fucking money for yeah, no reason. There's no way it'd be the same. There's no way. Because every time you meet somebody or every time something happens, the potential for that to be like a greater moment isn't. I think is in LA than it is here. But how? Why? I think it is. Because everyone in LA has no fucking job. They don't have jobs. People have crazy money out of nowhere. People are doing random weird things. People want to be actors. It's like, I don't know. It's like a certain energy. The weather's fucking amazing. Not that the weather's not nice here. I don't know. I will say, though, that everyone having no jobs in LA is pretty good. You don't have... I think you yeah, I say. hate that people have jobs here because I can't just hang out with people whenever. They have to go to work and shit first and it's fucking annoying as hell. Just don't let the past crazies of L.A. To, like, make you not live there. Oh, it's not even that. It's just it's fucking expensive, dude. Yeah, no, that's the biggest argument against it. If it was the same price, it'd be, you'd have no argument. You'd have no argument if it was the same price, I think. Yeah, yeah. Some, d uh, yeah, I would say there would be less of an argument. All right. Let's see. What do we got? I don't know. I guess we got some restaurants over here. Well, all these look... Really fucking fancy. There's a nice Italian restaurant right here. Want some Italian? Pizza. Are we gonna sit down or you wanna grab something quick? No, yeah, so let's just like, let's sit down. Okay. Have like a nice little thing. I mean, I'm trying to think like what's down here more. I the lights. We go here? Yeah, let's just keep, let's see what's down here. Let's keep going and see what's down here. Detroit, yeah. Actually, if we moved to Detroit, that would be a lot of content. There would be non stop no. fucking crazy motherfuckers with no jobs and shit, dude. Yeah, but they don't wanna be actors. Yeah, I guess they have no jobs for different reasons. You need huh? homeless people that want to be not homeless, but you need jobless people that want to that want to be actors. I'm sure there's jobless people in Texas that want to be musicians. Yeah, not as many. You need the guy in LA that had his fucking his dreams crushed. That way. He's so, so he's willing, willing to, do to do anything. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So, but I, I don't think that's what I'm going for, though. I don't want desperate fucking people on on my streams that would, will do anything. I want I want people that maybe have a little bit of self-respect, you know. Self-respect. A little, a little bit of self. Oh, here's the cinema. Oh wait, let's go inside this place. Oh, okay. This place looks sick. Young Joy. Yeah, this street is the street is nice. I would actually want to. Oh, no, I wouldn't want to move on this street. It's so humid here. It says it's 50, but I'm I'm sweating my ass off. <sighs> How are you sweating? I don't know. It's so humid. Oh, dude, I love it. I love. Oh. I love, I love it, bro. Oh, I'm, I'm getting some. Bro, I bet Kimberly will love some chocolate. I'm gonna get Kimberly some chocolate. Hello. 
stomach. I'm gonna get Kimberly some chocolate, bro. Bro, I love candy and shit, dude. One sec. Oh, yeah, I just want some, like, chocolate stuff. Move, guys. Candy pizza. Oh, Grandma would love this. I would hang out with Asian Andy, but he's... I haven't heard from him in a while. I don't know what the fuck he's up to. Uh, Mexican Andy doesn't have any self-respect or respect for other people, so I don't like to hang out with him. Uh, and all the other guys are basically under Mexican Andy's uh, level, so... What? No, I've had those before. They're not bad. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna get the butter soda and just some chocolate for Kimberly. Can I get butter soda and chocolate for Kimberly? Uh, the chocolate... The butter soda? The butter soda, yeah, I can grab that. And chocolate for Kimberly? Oh, yeah. Cold? Sorry? Do you want just do you want the butter soda just cold and then Yeah. I, I mostly work at the toy store next door, sorry. So what's the other one? Oh here? sorry. Yeah, no, I'm just covering over here. Uh, well you guys have a Dragon Ball Z energy drink. Oh no, yeah, just the butter soda. Oh it just tastes like grass. Yo, which one should I get? The grass soda or the butter soda? I think the butter one's probably more interesting than the grass. If I remember correctly, the grass just kinda tastes like fresh. If yeah, you know I mean. I've, dude, I've had grass. I've got worm ooze. Uh, I'm gonna get the out of butter soda, it'll be butter. fine. Cool. Yeah, we got grass soda, we got butter soda. I think the butter soda will taste more interesting than the grass soda. Because grass, I mean, just tastes like plain, you know? Butter is like interesting and hard to recreate. Oh, they got I love getting sodas that taste Bro. fucking weird. It's, it's, amazing. it's a good yeah, experience. It's a good experience. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Kimberly it's will love. Ones. Will love this too. Yo, I love this place. Yo, what about this? 20 pound fucking worm gummy bear. Now let's see, what do we got here? Marshmallows, strawberry gummy candy. Yo, she probably fuck with that too. I'm just gonna get her some chocolate. I do the, the Japanese candy's good, but they don't have. Eh, I'm just gonna get her chocolate. I don't want to spend a bunch of money on the, on this a bunch of random shit, but I think the chocolate would be good. So let me see, vegan. So I can get these chocolates, yeah. Yeah, I can definitely get those for you. Alrighty. Can I have? So do, do I get like a box or what? Uh, yeah. Let me see where. Cause I, she, I know I like Japanese candy, and so does my girlfriend. But I feel like girls would like the chocolate more, and I think I'll like the chocolate more too. It's Japanese candy is just like gummy and artificial. This is nice and chocolate. Yeah, there's the pocky and the stuff that is like the Japanese chocolate stuff that's pretty good. But yeah, I can definitely get you. Okay. Uh, do you know how many you want? Uh, how big is your biggest box? And how much is it? Pretty large. I'm probably going to eat half of this myself. So it just depends on how many you get since they're 350 a piece. So this can probably fit a dozen of them. 350 a piece, huh? All right, that's fine. I'll probably get like, how much is that? 35 bucks if I get like 10? Yeah, I'll get like a 10. I don't know math either. 350 a piece, that's... Actually, maybe, how about this? How about this? I'll just get the Japanese candy. Cool. Because that will be much uh, efficient for me. So it's been in $35. All right. I think she loves Japanese candy, dude. I'm trying to... I think she will... I think... What do you think Kimberly would want more, Chad? I really think... I don't know. I think she likes strawberries and shit. How much is this? Probably like $10. No, it's not. Let me see. I don't know. What do girls like? I know they... Like, I'm not spending $35 on some chocolate, dude. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. That's not happening. Yeah, give me a sub button first. I'll spend thirty-five dollars in chocolate. Let's get the strawberry Japanese. She loves the Japanese shit, dude. Pockies are too American. Actually, this is pretty almond. Oh, all right. I'm gonna get her. That's a good looking pocky. So I'm, this looks good. That's a good looking pocky. Yeah. All right, I'll get her this shit. Maybe the panda. The panda's just like chocolate and shit. These are trash. Should have these. No. Suck. All right, this would be good. I think she'll like this shit. No chat. People are saying that I'm cheap. Cause I don't want to spend thirty-five dollars on chocolate. No, that's completely. That's, fair. that's fair, right? Like I don't know. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean like three fifty a piece. Like, all right, come on. I, I feel like it's a shame our budge isn't still up because I honestly feel like that's way better bank for your budget chocolate-wise. Yeah. yeah. That's something we have to keep. Do you guys down. make the chocolate here yourself? Not the truffles, but we do do all of the fudge ourselves. Because that is hella crazy. That's hella expensive. 
making fudge and everything? No, no. Well, I'm saying like, if you make the chocolate here, I understand. That's understandable. There, it is a, it's still a local chocolate here. The oh, okay. And truffles and stuff. Well, that's understandable. Yeah. That, that's pretty understandable then. Uh, yeah, cool. They actually don't make it. At first, I was like, this is gross. But they don't uh, make it in like uh, bulk batches, so nothing that you get from the case is like something that they had in a warehouse. They uh, make it all in order. by the way. You'll so it all comes like in random batches, which is cool. Do you want the soda open? Uh, yeah, please. So this is like, how much are you, like 7 each? This is all vegan ice cream. Uh, 495, 595, 350. All right, gotcha. Here, Gary, why don't you wait outside for a sec mm-hmm. while I grab all of this in the bag? You're good. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, have a nice. Are we back, guys? I'm sorry. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me try this. Let's try this butter soda. Okay. Dude, I love trying crazy sodas. It's super like a fun experience. LeBron number one now. Glad Kobe died. Now. Come on. Oh. Yo, ban that person permanently because that's fucked up. That's not even a. That's not a timeout. It's not a joke. Ban him permanently, bro. All right, this is. That was pretty good. That's not bad. Oh, bro, that's so bad. Bro. Oh, that's so gross, dude. It would taste like butter soda, for real. Bro, that's so... It tastes like butter soda. Yo, that's really not bad. You think? Bro, it's like drinking butter. It's literally... It tastes like carbonated butter. Dude, it's so good. You think that's good? it's It's not really... Okay. It's not really good... It's not really something that I would drink on a daily basis. It's just, it's interesting. It's interesting. And I would, to- like, I would totally drink this again. This is good. It tastes exactly like it says, which is rare for those type of sodas. They like, don't really taste like it. If you fuck with butter, then you'll love this. It tastes like weird, like like not amazing butter though. Yeah, it's like like low, artificial butter flavor. Like low quality butter, but yeah. It's mm. gonna taste like Land of the Lakes or Land of Lakes, whatever it is. Yeah. Then it'd be good. Yo, that's fucking crazy. I Yo. love it. No, dude, I spent $15. I can't believe I love this shit. Damn. I used to carry that around the rest of the time. Yeah, I fucked up. Let me, <clears throat> me just down this real quick. You fucked up. Bro, that's fucking... That's crazy, dude. So this is where Lunar hangs out. This is where all the lunatics go. This is... Bro, no, it's this, nice. This looks like a place that Lunar would go. Yeah. Bro, I feel like... I feel like this area... How, how would you compare this area to LA? Um, this is like, this street looks like, almost like Beverly Hills, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. This is like a Rodeo. It looks like Rodeo Drive. This is like a Rodeo Drive. But without drive. the Versace and like, like fucking. Yeah, they replaced all Versa- that Versace and Louis Vuitton with like League of Rebels and Urban Outfitters. Exactly. And there's a Trader Joe's. <laughs> like this is like their Rodeo Drive, but they just, they're not going to put Prada in Versace because they're not going to sell like they do. Like, I don't know, it's different. Yeah, this is a nice area. Mm-hmm. Hang out with this Andy is a nice street, though, yeah. CX and chat boys. Well, Andy Milonakis is not in Austin, so I can't do that, but thank you. All right, I gotta whip down this, sorry. It's down, down it. Let's see if there's some food over here somewhere. Or this is like the Grove kind of thing as well, like that kind of area. Ah. It could, this could be Glendale. Glendale's nice. Glendale's right, real nice. Crashes. No, it's not Glendale, dude. Glendale's really nice. There's a, there's a, the Glendale has its own like Grove, I mean, this... and it's just as nice as the Grove. It's fucking amazing. Really? Yeah, it's super nice. It's, it's near where I go to LA Fitness. <gasps> oh, they got. A, and here's the toy store, dude. What he was talking about. Bro, I gotta see what they it's have. Still open. I know. I, I, dude, I think he's gonna see us again. I want to buy one of these fucking chairs. Open until ten. Bro, this is dope. I haven't been in a toy store in forever. Spent fifteen dollars on candy. I can't believe it. 
You got fifty dollars worth of toys. Bro, this shit. Did you have to play with toys as a kid? I used to like Ninja Turtle action figures, but other than that, it was just video games. I, I used to have these things. I wish I remembered what they were called, but I don't. Oh, man, a cap Maybe the chat could help me. They were square dudes. There was like hundreds of them, and you were supposed to collect them, and they're square. And their faces were different, and you turn, and it's like a it's like a Tetris like piece, like a block. And you turn their head, and it's like here's like a happy face, and you turn it, and it's like a sad face, and then you turn it again, and it's like an angry face. Turn it one more time, it's like a weird face. Like you know what I'm talking about? Did you ever play this? It's not Legos. It was like they were blocks, like square blocks. No, I haven't played that. Guys in the chat, you know this game. I know Boomer, but I you know this game. But yeah, I don't know. I, I was always trying to find what they were called, because I wanted to collect them again, but I could never figure it out. They were like fucking just this like... This place has interesting shit. I don't even know what that is, but that looks hella interesting. Dude, it's like a fucking... It's like a puzzle game. Yeah, it's like a... Or some shit. Like a Tetris block or some shit, dude. Let's see, what else do they got? They must have some crazy shit here, dude. Oh, this is like Japan. Bro, what the fuck is this? Bro, what? Oh, that's a fucking... They got little babies? What the fuck? Why? For bathtubs? Why is bathtubs, dude? How you doing? How you doing? Working at the toy store, huh? It's pretty dope. Ooh, weird. Do you guys have collectibles? Like what kind of collectibles? Bionicles? We do not have bionicles, no. Hmm. Do you guys have squid girls? Do you guys have Dragon Ball Z? Probably not any squid girls. Do you have Bob Ross, though? Do you got Goro? You don't got no squid girl though? Yo, this place is dope. What the heck? They got a spice dude. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. Bro. Oh, they have Splatoon though. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. I have to buy I have to buy something here. Yeah, this place is sick. I, we gotta find something good that we can buy. Get these guys too. The WWE guys. Oh, they got those J Japanese things. What? Oh my God. Are they expendable? This oh. guy right here. Are you kidding me? The the alliance. I uh, no, I never got those. I always got the expendable ones. No, I had these, and I had Goldberg. And Goldberg was like really hard to find. Goldberg, the the gold dust. No, that's gold dust. Goldberg is the one that'd be like, who's next? And he spear you and jack jackhammer you. What do we have here? So uh, they don't have. Hmm. How do they not have? The, are they really called Bionicles, chat? With the square dudes? They got books, but no Bionicles? Come on. They got books, they got anime shit. They got motherfucking ass dinosaurs and shit. Alright, well I think that's the end of the toy store. Damn. They got such interesting stuff here. They got Dragon Balls? Yo, I would... That's crazy. They, I like these clocks, too. How much is a clock? So, a black one is gonna be... Damn. What about the the hands that are chairs? 275. 275? Mm -hmm. For the hand chairs? Yep. Dang. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy, dude. That's cr That's insane. Alright, let's go. There's nothing here. That's crazy. 275 for the hand chairs? That's crazy. Seventy dollars for the clock. That's crazy. It's a toy. The toy dog. This really is like the Rodeo Drive home. Thank you. They got like they fucking instead of selling Prada and shit, though, they sell they sell two hundred seventy five dollar hand chairs. Bruh. Like, oh, these are probably like puppets. The ones that like. That's crazy, dude. Like, I would love to have. I would love to have this in like my front porch. The, the hands. Or like the fucking rabbit. Like this would be sick as fuck. Thanks for coming in, y'all. Yeah, thanks. Oh, I love the smell of fire. The burning smell. That's so nice. Yeah, I wonder where that's coming from. All right, I think. I'm trying to think. I want to go back, maybe back to that Italian place and get a pizza or something. But do they have pizza? I mean, I would assume, right? Italian place. Yeah. Because I think if we keep walking this way, it's. I think it's gonna. It's just nothing looks open. I don't know. It's gonna come to an end. They, they've definitely interesting stores here, though. Austin Rocks. Lunar loves this stuff. Yeah, this is this is where Lunar. I didn't forget the bag. I had the bag on me, chat. Bro, Lunar, hundred percent. 
go shopping here, dude. He's got little gnome hats and shit. Lunar keeps Austin weird. That's what I'm saying, bro. Lunar is. The, we got the Austin Java. Let's go see what that is. Austin Java. Yeah, this is definitely a place we should have came during the day. This is not a yeah. nice. Air, this is not a uh, a night area. It's Sunday too. Things close early on Sundays. Yeah, the Sunday shit fucked us up. Lunar is a poor man's TSA. No, nah, how the fuck is he TSA at all? Yeah, this What's shit's closed. TSA. I'm just saying, he's not like TSA. How is he like TSA at all? He has a girlfriend as well. So he doesn't try and go pick up girls. Oh, there you go. That oh, go there. What? Go to Bob's. They got a W right there, so you know that we're in the fancy part. For that place. Yeah, let's cross the street. That looks like quiet. What is? That place looks like quiet. Yeah, let's, let's cross. TSA's an OG in the game. Yo, he really is. TSA brought me in the game. You have complete respect for TSA. Big respect. All right, let's... I love Luna, but you're not there yet. I'm trying you're to... You're not a TSA level. Hey, hey, hey. He's getting there, though. Slowly but surely. And, like, some weird thing. All right, we gotta stop and get food. I'm starving. All right, what do we got over here? We got a uh, hot coffee, good food. It says they, they're playing, they're playing Lil Nas, so they look, they look, they look, they look trendy here. Trendy, right? No, they're not closed, are they? They're closed. They keep the music playing, bro. They keep the fucking music playing all night, though. Bro, if I'm homeless, I'm sleeping right here. I listen to the fucking nice music in the background. I'm homeless? If I'm if I'm home if I'm homeless, I'm sleeping right there. Nice nice music in the background. While I fucking sleep. Oh right here, they got some good shit. Rustic bread salads is my Bro the rustic bread around the world. One year aged, zesty, I don't want to exurbance, bread. firm and dry. Sheep. Damn. Damn, this shit looks fancy Let's as go to the Italian fuck. place to get some pasta fagiola. $17. We got some Humboldt Fog Creamy Luscious Center Ribbon of Ash from a goat. I like goat cheese. Bro, I think, I don't know if they're talking about goat meat or what. Goat meat. Let's go get some pasta fagiola. What the fuck is that? Bro, they got an art museum. What do you mean, what is that? <laughs> They've got a fucking art, like shit on art display. <laughs> Bro. Bro, look at this art. This place is hell. <laughs> this place is a hell of trendy and a hell of ripoff because everything's like fucking expensive as shit. Look at this. That's crazy. How much do you think they sell this art for? Thousands. Oh, look at the paper clips. Bro, I like that Pac-Man one. Do you think that's Pac-Man? Right there. What do you mean? Oh, that, I, I was I was thinking the one above it. All right, let's. I guess that one Italian place we can just walk back to it if you want, because this is the end. This is where I think this is where the trees end. Let's go down to the next street and there's shit on that one too. Yeah, let's just. Let's go see. I know that Italian spot's gonna be hella fancy, so probably don't want anything. I'm not really in the mood for like. Not, really not yeah, not really in the mood for forty dollar pasta. All right, next uh, next street over. Sure. This is definitely more like a city than LA. LA doesn't feel like a city. Okay, the Gary's day, bro. Does I know it's a, a date with Gary? A date with Gary. Are you picking these up? No, these are personals. Oh, these are yours? Yeah. Oh, sick. What are you doing? Yeah. Uh, I'm currently checking the, the wire on this because this is supposed to be doing two different colors. Oh, does the app tell you when it's broken? No. They're not that good. I wrote an app to replace their app. They're that bad. Wait, so what are you doing? Um, fucking with the lights right now. Are you, but I'm saying, do you like? Do you get money from this? No, this is my personal. So I I get the decommissions off of the companies, and they call them broken beyond repair. I call their mechanics idiots. I'm developing an augmented reality headset. 
Are you interested in getting paid per hour to be a developer? Yes. Do you know anything about developing? Uh, I write Python, C++, and C Sharp. Um, I'm mostly a protocol implementation kind of guy. So I like to uh, I like to make the parts that handle network connectivity, accessories, and stuff. Okay. Also, so I do know about the triad semiconductors. Uh, uh, you know the, the the way the lighthouses are emitting lasers. And then hello. You, and then you uh, and then you you receive them on the other end, and they get encoded by. by do you know anything server. about spatial mapping? A little bit, not a lot. Uh, I'm still kind of working on my slam skills. Because I'm I'm trying to find someone who knows about spatial mapping. I don't care. Is Mostly I'm trying to have a good conversation. Is that your friend? Yes. Okay. Yeah, because I, I just saw you, like, doing this. Like, so you're just, this is your personal scooter. Yes. Why, yeah. are, you, why are you doing it right here? Uh, because there's no other better place to do it. And I was also just doing a quick fix on the lights. I, I have two different shades of green on the bottom, and it was doing, and it was wigging out. So I was like, all right, well... Got to fix it because. But this one's not yours. When the wiring is. Uh, no, that that one is his. Uh, so when Jump decided to get rid of this model, they also told pretty much all the Jump starters, the people charging them, that uh, that they wouldn't be using this model anymore. And so they uh, pretty much said, "If you see it, grab it. It's oh, yours. Man. It's sick." And so they just gave so, they just gave out the free scooters. I thought you were like charging them, but you're not. No, no, I, I was about to charge this one and this one, but no, I was just pulling them out uh, so they're out of my way. Bro, that's fucking crazy. Yeah. Uh, crazier part is I actually wrote an app that talks to the scooters. Can I see it? So. I'm gonna reinstall it now. It's called Nine Rift. It's just that uh, right now I'm waiting on my newest update. Are you a hacker? No. You're not hacking scooters to, like, take well, them? No. No, I, I wrote software for other people to do with it whatever they want. You know you know how people who make bolt cutters don't go doing background checks on yeah. the people buying them? Yeah, yeah. I make the bolt cutters. Fair enough. That's it. <laughs> True. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah. BLE. Can I download your bolt cutter on the App Store? One of these will connect. I so it, it connects it. to a random scooter, and then you can just take it over. Yeah. So you are, like, basically, you're, like, getting a free scooter instead of having to pay for it with Uber. Oh, well, I mean, like, they, they do they do have it to where you have to, uh, so in this case, these all have Bluetooth on. This the one used to be a tracker, but now this one is a Bluetooth speaker. Yeah, he turned a... He turned so you took the, the tracker off it and turned it into a speaker. Yes, uh, using their speaker. Yeah. What the fuck? Uh, so and when they when they decommission. So you guys really you guys really are. This is like the what's that one video game? Night uh, Watchdogs. Yeah. This, you're like a you're like the Watchdog. Well, this th that at least showed that there was some security that you were getting past. These have no security on their Bluetooth connection whatsoever. And you know what? I can't even feel bad for Uber because imagine putting out your scooters with no fucking security. Yeah. That's crazy. So now realistically, you're yeah. you're all over. They, you're, all they did was. They turned off Bluetooth. So you're over the thing. They were doing they were doing all their updates over a wire instead. So as soon as you figure out what that wire transmits and receives, you can send updates through the wire instead of Bluetooth. So what's the goal? Including turning Bluetooth back oh, on. This is the goal oh, is, to, is to get avoid a, waste. A, so uh, most you're, you're not just trying to get a scooter for yourself. Well, this would well, I, I enjoy scooters for myself, but also uh, the reason why I would re release my software contact. for everyone to use is because you know what Jump did with most of their fleet when they pulled them off the street? What? Threw them in a dump in Germany. <laughs> why Germany? Probably because laws here no. don't allow it. Really? So you probably paid to dump them in Germany. So you guys yeah. are so. So instead of paying recycling fees on a bunch of scooters, they just made one huge shipment. To what just happens to be an address that's dumped. Can you overwrite that one over there? No, but you can gut uh, a spin of the same model and put the guts inside of it. But that seems like a lot of work. So why yeah. do these ones you can connect to, but not that one? 
Well, because look at the heads. Oh, the heads. Th these are the previous generation. So uh, I wrote my app entirely to talk to these. It just so happens that it can also talk to those, except they use a five pin cable, so you have to rewire everything and you have to replace the dashboard. As opposed to spin, you just issue a firmware update to the motor controller, followed by a serial based, so over the wire, firmware update to the, the dashboard, which is what pr puts out the Bluetooth, and then you do one more update and that's to the battery, because the battery is being limited, um, and there you go. Like You just reprogram the scooter over uh, existing connections. So mine, I've actually made a, an extension of the five pin cable to where it's easier to reach. So that I hook into with a serial cable, so you can issue updates the same way as if it was on Bluetooth. So the goal here is they're going to throw these scooters out anyway. So you're just going to overwrite them and take them for yourself. When, no, when they when they start to throw them out or start to replace their fleet, that's a sign that they're decommissioning things. Dude, you're asking somebody who's also on the streets. Um, point is when they when they start decommissioning them, that's that's when it's time to pull out the software and see who, who you might know from Jump, who you might know from different companies, see if you can get them legitimately, otherwise you have a little bit longer to wait when all you're going to find is the ones that are abandoned in creeks and True. The woods and stuff like that after they've completely removed them from their Do system. you make money from this though? A little bit, not a lot, um, mostly because... Uh, people are sketched out by the idea of anything that looks remotely like a rental. So these would sell fine. This would not. Because it says Uber on it. Even though they don't even... Uber doesn't even use these anymore. <clears throat> that you, Uber, if they see you riding around on one of these, you might actually get a compliment. Rather than being like, hey, give us, give us that back. Um, because they've already switched over to the Okai Electisan model, for, uh, you know, and those are kind of garbage. Um, I wouldn't even want one. I'm not even writing software to reprogram them this yeah. time around because they are garbage, except for their battery. That's which true. You can always just harvest the battery. The point is that the new ones don't have temperature sensors in the battery. They have a lower quality motor controller than a 9-bot Segway. Yeah, these, these were actually Segway models, which was the only reason I was interested in seeing what their security was like in the first place. Oh, yeah. All three of them say powered by Segway. So that's why I was this like, all right, well, hopefully that's the company that's done security right. Well, how about no, this? Nobody's done security right. Let me, uh, do you have like a Twitter or anything? Yeah, Ch yeah. Chizuki360 on Twitter. Can you... And on Instagram. Can you uh, type your Twitter in so I can... Uh, if I ever need anything, keep in touch, and then we yeah. can talk about stuff. Yeah. Because um, you seem like you know your shit with about developing. How do you? Oh, you oh here, right here. Send it to you. Or, okay. You seem like you know your shit about developing, but you, I, I need someone who knows about spatial mapping for mixed reality. So, okay. I don't know if maybe you could look into that, or I know like some of the frameworks. Oh, that's actually me, the second one down that says Shane. If you know the framework, like, what do you mean frameworks? I like. I know the. I know the different uh, computer vision libraries. OpenCV and OpenCV2. Oh, I'm more goes to server area. That's about as far as I've got. Area. So I don't know any of the new, anything beyond the open source side of things. Gotcha. I do know, I, I've, I've looked at how SLAM works, and I've looked at how to make a, a point map um, of, off of a, off Wait, of do a you two dimensional image, do turn you, it into a three dimensional point map just by having a camera moving through Do it. you know anything about robotics? Yes. Be okay. Yeah, I write I write firmware as well as software. So. All right. I'm gonna have to have like an actual formal interview yeah, with you. Yeah, yeah. Because realistically, I mean, you said you're on the streets. Yeah. With that guy. Also got people. Yes, I will. I'm, I do need some work done on a robot, and I'll pay you for that. If you know how to. Yeah. Work robotics. Yeah, I. I, so know I do how to need write somebody. You know firmware. I also know how to write for the NRF52 using the. Uh, do you know Ras CCC Raspberry Pi? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have two of them in my backpack. Oh, perfect. As long as you know how to reprogram. So I need to reprogram my Raspberry Pi to work with a different controller to so, control the robot, and then I also need okay. some actual like robotic like a controller. Or a no, USB it's controller uh, or? it's through the internet. 
Okay. Okay. So it's a controller on the internet. Yes. So I need to reprogram the Raspberry Pi, but I also need some robotics done on the arms because the arms are broken. Okay. So I need some somebody who knows about the wires and shit, wiring. Yeah, and knows how to solder. Knows how to not. What if you ever? Up more. What have you ever like soldered before? Like, ro what robotics have you worked with before? Well, I guess like this or something. Like this uh, is like yeah, similar. I, mean, like, I used to work for Lime when they used this model actively. I was the only person willing to actually get inside the neck tube and replace the motor controllers. And then I would take the motor controllers home and replace the MOSFETs if they were thrown into the scrap pile. Pretty much, it might have been a factor in why I was <coughs> fired from Lime was because when they would call something trash and literally throw it in a gigantic dumpster, I would climb in the dumpster and grab some of it to take home. Yeah. They were not okay with that. Yeah. That's fucking weird. But they actually, but what they ended up firing me for in the end was they scheduled me outside my availability. I told them that it was outside my availability and that I could not make it. I called three different people handling the shift. So the shift lead, the mechanic lead, and the warehouse manager. And all three of them knew I couldn't make it, but I got a call from the operations manager saying, show up or you're fired. And, well, considering availability is availability. And now you've gone onto the dark side and you're reprogramming their scooters no, for I evil. I saw them throw out about a thousand scooters that a month too late to save those scooters, I figured out how to reprogram them. Right. So I saw them all go in a gigantic roll-off dumpster, the kind with a ladder built into it. Yeah. And, you know, I was, a, I was a month too late to keep them from all going to waste. Well... Assuming they would have even allowed me to take them. This has been... You have to take one to two parts at a time, like a battery and a motor controller. The, oh, this... One, one, one wheel per day. You yeah. Know, uh, a deck with a wheel attached to it. Got to put it on top of my personal scooter and ride unbalanced and weird. Well, this has been quite interesting. Uh, so thank you for having this conversation Hopefully with us. It was for them too. Uh, this is interesting for them too. Oh, they, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Like that. But I followed you on Twitter. Okay. So message me. Uh, whatever. Say your app right now. I I hey, need just. I need to. Uh, I do need. I, I'll I'll keep in touch with you. You need to message me first because your, your your DMs are closed. So okay. message me and then I'll. If you know, if you actually know about robotics, I'll pay you to fix my robot. Okay. Yeah. Because Excellent. you obviously know what you're doing, and you could. You, it seems like you would be more. I don't know, like better for it than like someone that I could just hire from Craigslist. Yeah, and I can build up my uh, public public facing reputation a little bit more um, by actually being like, hey, look. I helped repair that, or whatever, yeah. like, post a picture on social media or something, I don't know. Yeah, true. All right, yeah, it's DM me, and, uh, so I can talk to you. All Your right. name's Falcor. Falcor. Nice to meet you, Falcor. Wait, what is that from? Never Neverending Story? story? The luck Dragon? Falcor the Luck Dragon? His back has all these bumpy scales? What the fuck, you know this shit? Of course, I'm a boomer. <laughs> what you mean? Wait, how old are you? Dude, put these on your list. Fly to the Navigator. And the never ending story. Imagine never seeing the never ending Bro, story. I don't know what the fuck that is on me. <laughs> Falcor? Betray you? Dude. Sebastian? You don't know. Childlike Empress? You've never played Super Smash Bros., but you know about Falcor. I beat him in Super Smash the other day. He, all he does is brag about how good he is at it. Destroyed. I'm getting nerded out by Gary, dude. <laughs> Unfortunately, my Switch is broken, and I also don't own a copy of Smash Bros., so. You can just hack it, though. Probably. <sighs> Yeah, probably what Nintendo deserves, considering no virtual console. Especially when you look at the NVIDIA Shield tablet yeah. that is running practically the same chip, and it's <laughs> running freaking GameCube emulation. What do you mean? You can play GameCube games under Android on the NVIDIA Shield tablet, which is practically the same chip that they ended up putting in the Switch. So they're, fact, the they're Switch like... is more powerful, and they're saying that they're not going to do virtual console. Even oh, though they okay. could easily emulate Wii, GameCube, it's for money, N64. Though. They want you to get the new They game. could have bought it. You could buy all those games again. Oh, that, that's true. That would be money. So Nintendo's that. just dumb. <laughs> yes. Yes. Also, they used peer-to-peer -peer networking to handle Splatoon 2 and Smash Bros. Oh, and yeah. All their games that require you do really fast, low-latency communications. Yeah. Yeah, have you noticed Splatoon 2 is horrible? 
No, yeah. Have you tried it? I have, yeah. Splatoon 2 is trash. That's because there's one person in that entire match that is considered the host, and everyone else is trying to talk yeah, to them. Yeah, I remember and then that. That from... host is passing on what everyone else's locations and health states and I remember that shit that. back from 2009 Call of Duty like they, we've been, we're past that imagine not having dedicated servers in 2020 Nintendo doesn't have dedicated servers which is why I won't ever pay for Switch Online bro I, Switch Online is garbage you are damn right about that yeah which is also why I have a console still running an old enough version of the firmware once I replace the power management IC. Yo, it's like you got an old <laughs> enough version of the firmware that I can do the Tegra RCM smash and run the homebrew channel. And You've got it all, don't you? Yes. You've just, I've, <laughs> also, I've also tinkered a little bit with uh, cross-compiling um, for the Nintendo Switch as well. Um, if you were to actually look up Slinger360 and look it up in the commit history for the GitHub for the Nintendo Switch homebrew channel, Yeah. I know that's a really complicated way of putting it but nintendo switch homebrew channel go to the commits search for me slinger 360 on github and you'll see that there's a couple of times where i even helped contribute to the, sure, i know the homebrew, homebrew channel. channel i have it on my wii I, I when the wii first came out i cited it in a wiki remember the little thing yeah and then i just was burning like fucking dvds and downing them back then so, oh yeah yeah hell yeah, yeah as far I, as my oh I love you, what it is now one of my I mods found your me. your github huh is that his github GitHub, yeah. Get, Slinger? Slinger 360. Is that yeah, your, is that your I GitHub? I made it in high school, yeah. What's on your GitHub? Uh, the source code for my app that talks to the scooters. Uh, a little bit of a uh, few contributions to the homebrew channel, which were just mostly that the guy didn't know how to write a proper make file and have it actually build for the Switch properly. Um, there's also contributions to a CMake toolchain. Which is for the home for the homebrew toolchain for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, the idea is that uh, right now they rely on Make alone, uh, but I would, I need CMake to be working because CMake is used when you go to compile Unreal Engine for a platform. So I want to run. I want to. I want the homebrew <laughs> community. <laughs> I want the homebrew community to be able to use the Unreal. Wait, hold on, Scuff Dev. Does Falcor know his shit? Yes or no? So I have one of my developers in the chat. I'm curious to see. He says you know your shit. He definitely does. You can tell. I mean, I can tell. Everything tell you're clearly. talking super confidently. Like you clearly know your shit. Well, someone who was good at BSing people would also speak confidently. But he said but things that the, we know are to be true. Verify, yeah. You know what I mean? It's a couple things he said. We know enough about certain things where we know it's true. And well, the you rest seem, of it was confident. You seem like a really smart guy. So maybe it sends, you don't. You may not know about mixed reality shit right now. But maybe you could learn a little bit and help me with that. Yeah. But let's start with the robotics thing first. Yeah. Are you trying to do inside out or outside in tracking? Uh, are you trying to be mobile with your mixed reality headset? Or yeah. Try okay, mobile. So inside out. Tracking. So I'm gonna have to figure out how we can use how we can use 4G to to work with what about it. Well, 5G. They're already installing the antennas. There's one over here on Congress. Yeah, but when does... And there's one over there on Lavaca. 5G, 5G's not going to come out until a couple months from now, though. Yeah. Although so, it might be a good idea to start prepping for it. Well, that's what I'm case. saying. Yeah. I want to buy the headset now so I can prep for it. So even if it doesn't work in 4G, when 5G comes out in a few months, then we'll have it ready to go. Heck yeah. What did you say it was called? Caught a carivore. <laughs> Someone said car coronavirus. What? Somebody said coronavirus. Never mind. Because oh. <laughs> the way you said it was... The, the antenna, the name of it, something with a C. You said where the antenna was, the two locations where they have 5G antennas. Oh, uh, Congress and Lavaca. Oh, no, it doesn't sound like <laughs> I don't know so what they're talking that, about. It's that big, it's that weird thing that looks kind of like a transformer, but it has multiple electrical conduits running down to a large box. So they look different than 4G antennas. Yeah, they're doing a uh, fiber optic to radio. So they're skipping the whole step where they packetize everything, usually on the equipment at that location. Instead, that location is receiving a bundle of fiber optics that are carrying pretty much the waveform of what's going to be sent out over the radio. And then it goes up to a huge cluster of hundreds of radios that then handle beam forming and sending the, the, uh, sending the uh, transmission the shortest distance uh, to get to you. Um, you so, know everything, bro. 
a little bit. I mean, of, you know everything, bro. What do you mean? You, you know how to explain everything. I'm good at breaking things down, but I'm. How does I'm, augmented I'm reality the work? That I understand. How, do, how does augmented reality work? A combination of APIs that allow you to map information onto existing objects. I mean, whether that how do you audio, get, uh, how do you get a visual, how do you get an animation to know the tree is there and not bump into it? An animation. To, oh, you like, have to have parallax. You have to know the the depth at which the tree is from from the camera. It, so you either have to have two perspectives, or you have to have a light field camera um, that can detect. measure the angle at which the light is entering the sensor. So remember the company Light. No, uh, do you actually do know your shit? Because I've been looking up augmented reality shit for a while, and that's exactly what they said. It's based on light. Yeah, you need parallax, and you, or you need to know the angle at which the light is entering the sensor. Do you know what a magic leap parallax. is? Yes. Okay, I'm, I'm buying a Magic Leap one. Nice. So maybe you can help me with that as well, because you obviously know your shit. I asked you that question specifically to see if you knew anything, and you clearly know, because that's exactly what I looked up to. Yeah. Based on light, that's how the animations can tell when, where an object is and interact with the object based on the light. Yeah, if you have two perspectives, you know how if you look from one spot... You can see a certain amount of what's behind it yeah. from there, and then you move over here, but that object's still in your field of view, but now you've got a different view of what's behind it. So now the, the foreground has moved separately from the background, so you know that this is the foreground. So you're doing it in reverse. You don't know it's the foreground until you've looked at both perspectives. That's true. So the camera will see both perspectives at the same time before... Yeah, but then you actually have to calculate that into, oh, this is the foreground. Like how does how does over there's the background. So if I'm standing right here with the headset, how does it know what's on the other side of this tree? It has two perspectives. But how does it see the other perspective? Two cameras. So you get but one the, that's seeing here and one that's seeing here. But if I'm wearing the headset and the cameras are on my face, how does it see behind the tree? It doesn't see the back of it. It doesn't see the back side of the tree, but it sees what is visible from over here and what's visible from over here. And, and then as it a could, result, it knows the tree hasn't moved nearly as much as all the objects in the background. The delta between frames is... So it can kind of guess, basically. It knows that this is the foreground off of just two two frames. Here and here. Or I feel you. interpupillary distance, what whatever. Saying. Dude, this is why you should move to Austin. We have 5G coming. They're Shut already up, building guys. the antennas. Moises knows all this. Austin, Austin, Austin. Just takes him longer to explain it. Just Ask him to Moises Okay, Moises doesn't know this. Okay, wait, hold on. Did so he send you a shoot for I mean, chat or something? Similar. Yeah. Okay. Okay. He knows it all. Yeah. He's on Mixer right now. You know Mixer? Uh, They're from Microsoft? I, I know about it, but I haven't looked into it much. Yeah. Ask him what a Moises is. It's a guy. It's a friend of ours. But, I mean, realistically, they have 5G here, too. Yeah. Only in at and though. I think yeah, T-Mobile's already on it, though. But there's only one phone for T-Mobile that does. Bro, I think it's the note, the new, newest note. The five G in LA is probably trash. Let's be real. Yeah. So do you do you know? T-Mobile Mi still rents parts of AT and T's network to perform there. Boom. Maybe so. So. Yeah. so do you know anything about Mixer? Uh, I do not yet. No. Uh, I know that it exists. I know that it's a video streaming platform, but I don't know the details. Or and and I also don't have an account. So. True. Hey. Gonna well, lock it in. Yeah, lock it in, bro. Lock in your mixer account. <laughs> well, <laughs> nice in. to meet All you, right. Falcor. So yeah, open your DM, open your DMs with me so I can talk to you, and then okay. we'll stay in touch. All righty. It should probably be the most recent message, considering the only people I usually talk to on Twitter uh, is uh, Bird, the, the the scooter company. Yeah. Oh, okay. I had to keep nagging at them. They hadn't. They they only just paid me like two or three days ago. And they they had owed me since August 31st, so I just kind of nagged and nagged and nagged, and they eventually were like, "Oh, here's how to set up your new payment method." And I was like, "Oh, cool, yeah." Uh, yeah. Uh, I want my new charger account to be Falcor at scooterhacking.org. What's he listening okay. to on his headphones? Scooter. What's he listening to on his headphones? <laughs> <laughs> Scooter. Scooter. Yeah. Uh, but they, but totally, they totally approved that account. Though. That's that fucking crazy, crazy oh, dude. Oh, shit. But all right, Ice Poseidon is my Twitter. The verified check mark. If you get any other messages. That's not me. Okay. Ice, Ice Poseidon, all right? All right. Bye-bye. Bye, man. Bye. Have a good one. You too, man. Bro. He seemed cool as fuck. Bro. But he's, he's smart, dude.
He is actually super fucking smart. Like, he knows his shit. He, he's smart. 100%. As fuck. Dude, he's. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's. I don't, I'm pretty sure he's hacking the scooters to, no, to, I, to sell them. Yeah, but I think he's doing what. I think he's being honest about it. I think they're they're ones that are discontinued and they're gonna be recycled and, and, and tossed anyway. So I think he's doing that. So he's hacking the recycled scooter. He's got. Hey, he's hacking the ones that are gonna get here. that are gonna get thrown out anyways. I don't know. Why did? Sushi, yeah, happy hour. They could just. We might go in there. We might. Sushi. We might. Oh, yeah. Do you think you don't think he's trying to just get like any scooter? No. The, the, the fucking hack? I think he can, but I don't think he is currently. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys think he was trying to hack like new scooters or only the old ones that they you don't made care a good about? Point. They're not going to be able to sell with the scooter branding on. I've never met an ethical hacker before. Like real, <laughs> dude. He's literally saying the newer models were harder to hack. Yeah. <laughs> Still, bro, I'm the, the an ethical hacker. I mean, I don't I, think he's ethical. I think those are just the ones he can hack. Yeah, probably. I mean, he could probably help me with Robot Andy, realistically. I mean, I could just hire a fucking dude from Craigslist to help me, but I think. Well, that's better. But I think I could help this guy more, because he, he said he said he's homeless, so I kind of want to like help him. With, if he can help me, I want to help him. You know, mm-hmm. like I'll, I'll pay the dude like a hundred a hundred bucks to fucking help the help me with the robot or something. Whereas a lot of people on Craigslist, they also. He's helping. He's helping me too. So a lot of people on Craigslist, I've looked it up. They charge like a hundred dollars an hour, and I'll, I'll give that guy like two hundred for the whole day. Yeah, hell yeah. So and that will help him. Then he helps me because I get a cheaper price, and it's like mutual. Like, dude, dude, en- robotics engineers are fucking expensive, dude. On Craigslist, these fuckers, they want a hundred dollars an hour and shit. I'm just like, dude, and it's like, oh yeah, it's probably gonna take me like six hours to fucking complete this. I'm just like, dude. All right, let's go inside a fucking. So if that guy can help me for a cheaper price, so I can help him, it's me. That's fucking dope. Yo, all right. I just want like a fuck. Anything. Anything. Yeah. Let's just. Well, good thing we came here. What? That guy was super interesting. No, that guy. Imagine was... just imagine seeing that guy and having that conversation. Okay. That's one in a fucking billion. No, you think so? Of course. Why? A random homeless man fixing a scooter and he's a genius. Are I'm... you insane? I mean, I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't. I, what? I mean, I didn't. That's, I didn't know he was homeless. That's crazy. That's fucking nuts. I wish he wasn't homeless. Bro, it's absurd. It doesn't really matter, but think that's, about that. No, that. I mean, why? Because you. Th- I mean, what? Do you think it's hard to find a genius or hard to find? What do you say? Like a. It's homeless? hard to find somebody that knows shit that well randomly, and then fun- and then on top of it, he's. Like in a circumstance where he's homeless, and then you walk in, walk by him randomly, and he's fucking fixing scooters, and you're just like, "What are you doing?" And the, the man knows everything about fucking electronics, and it works out kind of perfectly. But why does it matter? That's crazy. Why does it matter if he's homeless? I'm just saying that's just another element to the story. Most homeless people aren't as well spoken and and, and well, I don't... knowledgeable about shit like that guy was. Yeah, I mean, it's very clear to me he's just down on his luck, and he's not like. No, he's uh, not he, like a lifetime. He's, he's not a crackhead. He's just like, it's like a short-term thing. And sure. He'll like fix it. He'll, he'll, like he'll, if I'm watching this right now, I'm like, oh, that's scripted as fuck. No, dude. Hey, I mean, yeah. I, I think that guy can, he's not going to be a lifetime homeless dude. He's definitely like just down on his luck or whatever. So, he's, he's too smart. All right, we got to get food. I'll help. Well, you probably, you guys might see that guy again. You should, you should talk to that guy again, I think. You guys might see that guy again. I think point. just the story of meeting him on stream, just like that, is worth in itself giving him the chance to fix the robot. Yeah, I mean, 100%. I'll, get, I'll give him the chance. I'll, I'll, he'll fix the, I'll see if he can fix the robot. And as long as he doesn't act fucking weird or like start acting crazy and shit, then I'm, I'm willing to like have that guy help me with the uh, augmented reality. Like, honestly. He, like, as long, like, I mean, he doesn't seem like he's crazy. So yeah. I just think that... I mean, most homeless people are fucking crazy, but he doesn't seem crazy. I just think he's down on his luck. So he, I, got, he lost his job, probably. He probably yeah, he said he lost his yeah. job. So I, I feel I'll get, I'm, I'm willing to give that dude a fucking chance, 100. percent That seems dope as fuck. And then hopefully, if I can pay him some money, he can obvi- like hopefully he can just get out of being homeless. That would be an ideal. Official developer of Team CX. Bro, and then he gets out of being homeless. That would be the ideal situation. Because, like, we both help each Bro, other. That's, that's your whole entire streaming life. What? Coming full circle. You're bringing them up. You're, you're, you're rescuing. You're rescuing them now. Well, I mean, I just, I mean, like I said, I, I kind of don't want, I don't really want, like, I don't want him to be homeless. I didn't talk to him because I thought he was homeless. I just think he is very knowledgeable and he can help me. But then at the same time, I can help him. Yeah. You know? No, hell yeah. I, 
I would prefer if he's not homeless, but I guess it doesn't really matter as long as he's not fucking crazy and like on drugs and shit. He's not. He's clearly not on drugs at all. So, yeah. All right. I think there's a. I'd be blown away if that man was on drugs right now. So there's no way. Yeah, I don't think so either. I mean, what do you guys think? I don't have. I don't have great uh, judge of character sometimes. Do you think he's a good guy? I think he was a good guy. But y'all. I think he was saying it was legit. Yeah, but I have to. I have to give him. I have to give him the test. I have to bring this guy to my house and like, like maybe have him fix surface level things. But I don't think so. Hey, let's go here. Yeah, I'll give the guy the test. I'll see. I'll bring him to my house. See if he can fix the robot. If he fixes it, then we'll be good. Hello. You guys still open? If he can't, then fuck it. No. Seemed fine. His friend seemed a bit sketch. Uh, well, we'll see. I don't know. Maybe I won't bring the guy to my house. I'll bring the robot. I'll bring the robot to to somewhere, and he can fix it there, and then I'll judge his character then off stream. Either way, yeah, everything's closed right now. This is bad. What the fuck? I bet you this place is definitely closed. They're pulling down the umbrellas, everything. They're packing up. I turned off my Wi-Fi and my Bluetooth when I was standing there, so... Why? Because I was just hacking. You turned off your Wi-Fi and your 100%. Bluetooth? 100%. When you work at CES in Vegas, they tell you, do not keep your Wi-Fi or your Bluetooth on. Come on, bro. Okay. How's this dude gonna... Uh, That's the go, chat. How's this dude gonna fucking hack you, dude? You don't keep your Wi-Fi right, or your Bluetooth. Just right there in front of you. I don't think he's... He's not actually to. a fucking... That's the thing. He's not an actual watchdog, dude. That's an actual thing. Hi, are you guys open? Yes, open. Until 10. What time is it? 9.37. Is it too late to order food? Yeah. All right. Do you, can we, do you have pizza? Pizza, yes. Can we take a seat? Yes. <laughs> this is gonna get hacked, dude. Bro, if I'm a hacker, I'm 100% not making myself obvious by fixing, fixing scooters. I'm just walking around, you know, with a trench coat on. I'm just hacking people left to right. I'm just saying, that's the thing. I work at CS, they tell you that. Not to, you can't. They tell you to turn your boots if you want. Well, this place is uh, mad fancy. Thank you. This place is super, like, like trendy and shit. Want to scoot a pizza? Yeah. You want to split a prosciutto pizza? Prosciutto? I mean, yeah, sure. Big, big goat cheese and arugula? Bro. It's gonna be slamming. Alright, you don't want just like a cheese pizza? Can I get the margarita? No, no, no. Let's get the prosciutto. It's gonna be good. Why are we gonna, you gotta, uh, no, do margarita pizzas are shit. Let's get the prosciutto. Yeah, let's get prosciutto. I'm down for that. Think they hate us coming in this late? Yeah, but it's just. I mean, it's just a prosciutto pizza. It's nothing crazy. And there's still 20 minutes? Eh. They're not like super happy about it, not gonna lie. Ask the guy to get you free unlimited data? Yo. Yo, I have that. What do you mean? I pay $100 a month for free, or not free, for unlimited data, dude. You were on the border, it's not too bad? What do you mean? On the border of what? What are you talking about? Oh, the time, yeah. Hey, what's up, man? Start off uh, can I get a water and a and let's order the prosciutto yeah, pizza? Get a water as well. Can we just get the prosciutto pizza? Need your prosciutto pizza? No, I was gonna split it. Oh, wait, how big is it? About ten to twelve inches, about that big. How many slices is that? Six slices. Two. Yeah. Okay, we'll split that. Okay. Are we And you also want our water to drink for you, sir? Yeah. Get two. No, it's fine. Is it really small? Can two people eat it? You people can eat it. Yeah, I'm not starving. Are you starving? I'm starving. Really? Yeah, you're definitely gonna eat it before I get you out. It's up to you. What do you think? No, we'll split it for now. Let's, okay. let's, let's, I'm probably gonna get some dessert too. Okay, sounds good. Alright. Shoot a piece of the table and then two actually. Oh, do you guys got like bread or something? Garlic bread or some shit? We, we have a white some, garlic bread. Can we get bread. the grilled bread and the good olive oil? Should they? Oh, yeah, that too. Oh, okay. perfect. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Grilled bread with good olive oil and we'll shoot a piece of garlic right bread. I'm not starving, but... Yeah, I know. We're definitely only getting one because it's like $20. <laughs> well, no. If we're going to get separate things, I'm going to get pasta or something. But I figured pizza's going to be this one. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. Two seconds. Hello, hello. <laughs> I think that guy was legit. What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> I think I think that guy was kind of legit, but who knows? He was okay. 
scuff on scene, the VR looks real. This VR looks real. What you mean, PK? When am I going home? What you mean? What are you talking about? No, I just said that I think that guy was legit. Oh, yeah. I think so, too. Oh, yeah. I fought, found my developer for augmented reality, baby. Got him. I'm going to bring him to the AT&T store tomorrow so we can demo oh, it. We should, we should message him and tell him to meet us there. So we can demo it? 100%. And then... Dude, DM him and tell him to meet us there tomorrow. We'll pick him up. He's got that van. He can drive there. All right, yeah, yeah. Is that close to here? Yeah, it like 20 minutes. Okay. Oh, see if he'll meet us. Bro, boom. You stream in the morning. We'll, he'll meet us there. All right. We'll be like, this is how you do that. And I don't know. It's That's going to be good. When you go to Australia, I have no idea, bro. They got coronavirus over there. I'm not, I'm not trying to go anytime soon. They said they, you didn't wash your hands. Did you wash your hands? No, I did. I washed my hands. Yeah, dude, you hacked my Twitter? I know, dude. Tell me about it. No, dude. Bro, imagine my Twitter was hacked. Imagine, dude. Nah. I would, like, actually cry, dude. <laughs> the Twitter's the, it's the only thing I have. The Twitter's the last thing I have, man. It's the last. No, realistically, if somebody hacked my Twitter, I can get it back. It's if they hack me, and they change my handle, and I lose verification. I would fucking cry. Then you'd have to reach out to them. Dude, getting... Dude, getting verified on Twitter was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. I had to go through so many different people to get to make that happen. I had, I literally went through, like... Four connections to make that happen. Dude. Thank you. No, I'm not giving any ideas. This time. And you didn't do shit for Instagram and got verified. Yeah, ver Instagram just verified me in one day when I applied for it. I mean, I don't know. Instagram was super lenient with it. You just need somebody. You need to know somebody uh, like at Twitter. Like you just have a connection to the Twitter verification and you just I, get it right away. I you, you were doing it by yourself, you know? No, I had, I had Scuff Steve Jobs. Oh. I told I had, me and Scuff Steve Jobs to do a guy at Twitter who worked for Twitter Gaming, and he got us verified. My friend that went on that show, the, my friend that's a rapper, the one on the Netflix show, he, was, he had like whatever, a couple thousand followers on Twitter. He's doing okay. Goes on the show. I mean, he does the show, the show comes out, next day, verify on Instagram and Twitter instantly. Like, immediately. Because he's now connected with these people that just make it happen, you know? He's not, like, fighting for himself. What was I going to say? Um, oh, so Scuff Brother was the end of the first era on Mixer. Mixer? Scuff Brother was the end, oh. the end of the first era on Mixer. The first quarter, three months on Mixer, the, first, the Q1, quarter one. And now we're going to Q2, quarter two. The second era. Okay. Every three months is a new era. Okay, we're going three month eras. So hopefully, next era. So season two. The, 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 hopefully, era two. Okay. Because it's less cliche than season uh, one. Hopefully, era two is even better than, than era one. With the sub button. The era of getting a sub button. Saying season two is hella cliche. You can say it, but I don't think I can say it. If I say it, it just comes off as fucking dorky. But I think the viewers can say it, and that's fine. Chapter two. Yeah. Yeah, I know the Misfits. The Misfits are selling scuffed merch. Do you know that? You know what a funny story? When I let the scuffed trademark go, Misfits took it two months later. Who is Misfits? It's like uh, these people on, on, in Australia. Oh. They have like a podcast and shit. It was just funny because I, I saw it. It's like they we let the trademark go and then they just picked it up immediately. And then they started selling scuffed merch. Which was... You, go, you let the trademark go? You yeah. keep it? No. Why? For what? Wasn't that your shit? Like you've been saying that for a while. Yeah, but you have to pay money to keep the trademark going. And when I moved here and like stopped streaming on YouTube or like just moved here trying to get away from everything, I just 
I just didn't want to have to pay for it monthly. I just, I just let it go. We just let it go. You know what I mean? It's just, I, I mean, I don't really need to sell, I don't really want to sell scuffed merch either. So there's really no point of me keeping it. I don't know. You should have just kept it. Because that was like your shit. Because with what you said all the time, it's shit, you know? Well, I'm, it doesn't matter now. I mean, either way, I had other shit going on in my life, and the last thing I have in my mind is, is making sure I keep this trademark, you know? I have so much other shit going on, or I had so much other shit going on. How much per month? Don't worry about it. Either way, it doesn't matter. I can still put scuffed on my on merch as well, by the way. I just can't trademark the word scuffed. I can, I have to like add more to it. Either way, I think I'd rather make like a CX thing, or like an Ice Poseidon thing instead of like a scuffed thing. Be careful having someone like that codes things in to be easy for the code things. Oh yeah, that's true. Somebody brings up a good point. He's on, if that guy was hacking scooters, do you think if I let him develop for me, he would throw in some code to like hack me? Because like, I don't know dude, that's true that, I don't know. I mean, Scum Dev could also help me with that, make sure everything's all, all good after he like does it. Scum Dev could like, like I could like bait him into making something, Scuff Dev can just like look at it and then it's he'll that'll be the test. So he can Scuff Dev will tell me if it's if it's safe. Yo, it looks good as fuck. Oil bread. Oh. Oh. What was it? Truffle? Oh. oh. It's like balsamic. It's like truff bread. truffle or something, yeah, or some kind of like salad dressing. <laughs> Somebody writes, dude, sit properly, you idiot. This is comfortable, bro. What's wrong with this? It's comfortable. Who am, I, who am I trying to impress? You? Me? So I'm trying to be on a nice date with you. You're sitting like a fool. Dude. I sit like this with all my dates with girls. What I wouldn't do is I wouldn't have a second date. Why? If I want to date with you and you showed up in Santa Claus pants and you sat like this in the chair, what if I was wearing nice, nice jeans and I sat like this? I've sat like this before. On a date? On a first date or like a girlfriend date? I usually sit like this. Look. I usually sit on my foot like this. And then with one knee up. That's how I usually sit. Bro, you're a grown ass man. At what age can you not sit like this anymore? Because you know what age it is? What? 17. What? Bro, you're a grown ass man. How many, do you guys sit like this? Is it just me or, I mean, I feel like, I don't know, bro. I feel like, I feel like it's normal. I don't know. I feel like home, but you're disrespectful. Put your feet on their shit, on their shit. Let's not do our Japan's no, fighting with each other. No one, you guys really don't sit like that ever? I don't know, bro. I feel like, I mean, it's just comfortable, dude. It's just hella comfortable. I don't know. Appreciate it for you, though. Oh, heck yeah, yeah dude. Y'all enjoy. Oh, wow. Bro. I'm not gonna eat three of those pieces. Yeah, that's a big one. Oh, amazing. Yeah, it's good, thank you. It's good, thank you. This looks slamming. Is 
that dessert menu? We're doing a food vlog. We're doing a food vlog. And we're trying to show our fans that, yes, you can go on a beautiful date in Austin, Texas. Fantastic, I agree. And I know it looks weird, like he looks like my brother, but it's not. I've been loving this man for three years. Fantastic. Dang. Don't bro. I'm not embarrassing you. Hey. Hey. No, 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 you don't come here. Don't tell me. I don't want to be that ratchet person. No, 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 you good. Ain't ratchet. Mm. Oh, come on, though. Come on up in here. What's that? I'm in a wife, he can't have his face. Nah, on come on, imagine having a wife. Come on, dude. I've been loving this man for three years, I said. Look, me and my partner have been together for almost eight. I said, look, just be on camera and enjoy yourself. <laughs> I'll enjoy everything now. How's everything? Hey, it's good, man. Beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you, man. Of course. I've done it. When they come out of the dark. That was funny, actually. Good timing. That was, that was perfect timing. Oh wow. Well, oh, the fig? It tastes like thick noodles. Yeah, the, the fig is good. Yeah, it will do. That's it, way better than cheese. Dude, the prosciutto and the fig together with the goat cheese and the arugula. We really look like we're on a date. Uh -huh. they, they both believed it. Look how close we're sitting. Yeah, we got a camera. Like from their perspective, it doesn't look crazy. But like we're sitting like they, they are. got a date. Oh, to so the viewer's perspective, it looks fine. Yeah, exactly. The, that's all that matters. Yeah, we do look like we're on a date. But But also the camera. We have a camera. Yeah. 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 I'm like, what are y'all doing? Why don't you say hi to them? No, it's Mixer. Mixer? Uh, you I was say like, hi I was to them. Like, like, no, no. <laughs> I've been on Chatterbait, though. Hey! Broke the website. What's up, everybody? What's your name? Ray. Nice to meet you, Ray. Nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm Gary. Gary? This is Ice. Wait, hold on. Ice? Every, everyone say hello. Gary and Ice. Everyone say hello, Ray. Give us a second. What's up, everybody? Give us a second. <laughs> oh god damn! <laughs> yeah, there we go. Jesus Christ! I want to follow y'all too. I'm on Mixer.com. Mixer.com. Or Mixer the app on the phone. Just go to the. Well, but what do I look for? Go to the front page. <laughs> go to the front page. What's that? Oh, just go to the front page. Very much. On Mixer, I'm on the front page of Mixer every, every day. Let's go. Are you serious? Oh yeah. I feel like I'm famous. You are famous, right? Shit, everyone said, hey, wait, 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 slow down, slow down. Hell yeah. No, I'm not. It's funny you say Chatterbait. Interactive I've been on, streaming? Yep, yeah, that one. I've been on that one, too. Chatterbait, I was like, I was a doctor. Oh, for real? I was playing a doctor, and I had my friend, Mexican Andy. Uh-huh. And then we had uh, this girl, Nina. Come on, Nina. And it was like, I was like the doctor. I was just her doctor. I was trying to give her a physical, mm -hmm. and she kept trying to fuck me. And I was like, no, no, no. No. And then Mexican Andy, my assistant, comes in and he's trying to fuck her. And then she's like, no, no, no. <laughs> that sucks. That's awesome, man. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah, if you download it, I'll show you. You want to make a mixer account? You want to lock it in? I don't want your people to get mad at me. Oh, you have an Android too. You're good, you have Android. Yeah. You just gotta. I gotta sign up. You gotta, you gotta make an account. Gotta sign in. Oh shit. Oh, no, it's a gaming thing. It's gaming. Well, I'm not gaming though. It is a gaming website, but you don't have to be a gamer. We just gotta do outside, do different events. We just did an event. We stayed in the house for five days. You got a Microsoft all account. <laughs> I know everyone has a Microsoft account. You gotta you, lock it in. Would you, do you have a computer? 
Because when yeah, you when you make I, when you make a Windows piece, when you buy a Windows a computer, you always have a Microsoft account. Unless you have a MacBook. That's the thing. Oh. Yeah, I like Android phones, but I have a MacBook. I got MacBook as well. Oh, business, come on, dude. I know because of business things that I do for uh-huh. But yeah, that's what do you do? <laughs> oh, okay. business. <laughs> <laughs> But what do you do if you live around Austin? Yeah, I stay right outside of Congress. Oh, an apartment? Yeah. Uh-huh. That's pretty good. Yeah, I stay. You like living in, in, in downtown? Yeah, it's cool. It's expensive as shit, but I do like it. I mean, it was it's worth it because, you know. Um... We're giving him all the attention now. By all means, he deserves it. <laughs> Stop it. We're good though. So the best. I don't know. There's no way to look at it without signing it. Oh, no, to, yeah. yeah, you don't even have books on it, dude. Is there a way to look at it without signing it? I would think. I don't know. I would think there yeah. is. You should be down with the app. Am I sitting weird? Like, dude, is this weird to sit like this? No, it's, it looks quite funny. That's what I'm saying. Everyone trying to make fun of me is ass sit like a moron. No, they're jealous. That's what I'm saying, jealous. Because I, wanna... I gotta beg you know what, I can't sit normal. Oh my god. Uh-huh. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Let me just figure this out. Oh, good. <laughs> He's into it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Man, I just thought we were on a date. No, yeah, I won't tell that guy I'm free balling. I thought we were on a date. We got no underwear on, G. And you're having a conversation with this man? I don't know. Bro, I'm so funny. I'm sorry. I'm cock blocking you, bro. Or he's cock blocking you. Whatever. Whatever, dude. Right, I guess I was there a long time ago. I was wondering why they said I had a... Yeah, you have a, an, an Xbox account. That was, that was is that, so your, long is that your Xbox name? Yeah. Dude, that's so... Can I read it to them? Yeah, that was real. Bro, so I X- forgot about this shit. Xbox that was name? when I was like 18. Bro, how old are you now? Damn, his, his Xbox name is Pure Soul 666 Damn. Bro, I completely so- forgot. <laughs> I did. I swear to God, I forgot. Bro, and so... I was like, why is it telling me to redo a password? I don't have a, a Microsoft account. Bro, it's so funny when people make Mixer accounts, and then they see their old Xbox name. It's fucking so funny, dude. That is awesome, man. That's, awesome. A lot of, that's my name for a lot of things. So quick watch now. Alright, so, let's skip all this shit. Yeah. Alright, so we're on the front page. Scroll down a little bit. Go to the very front page. Boom, right there, number three. This one, number three. Ice Poseidon. Number three, I'm mixing AO. Yep, right there. <laughs> number three, just eating food. <laughs> Boom, there we are. <laughs> I can see my own self on fucking camera. <laughs> you guys are famous. I'm on camera. You want to be famous too? Let me know. Everyone wants to be famous. Come over to the camera. Hey! We're on mixer. I'm on camera. Here we go. How you doing? They're doing a mixer. They're not. <laughs> and, and fired. <laughs> you see my face on there? What do you want? What do you want? Bro, is that the manager? No, I think so. Bro, he doesn't even see get the fuck away from me. No, I didn't know. That's basically what it was. <laughs> this guy just discovered fire, bro. I know. This, perfect was, this pizza was perfect. It was good. I don't even want any more food. Because the bread pizza is helping. Yeah, the bread probably helps. What's he listening to on his 
headphones. Yeah, that was three minutes ago. I have no idea. I think we'll be good then. This is good. We're full. Cool. No, I'm pretty full, yeah. So we get, we get the bill? Thank you. I think I'm the top. I'd say out of this transaction, or this interaction with everybody, they think that I'm the top. Why? Guys, who's, am I the top? I think so. Why do they think that? They, that's just what they think. For sure. you know why. I can just tell. But, if, okay, if you're the top, that means you pay for everything. Thanks, man. Who do you think is the dominant in our relationship? Dominant? Yeah. You're, you're, you're just speaking to the, the most the whole interaction, so you definitely have the more outgoing, it feels like. So you think I'm the most dominant? No, ask him <laughs> what, what I said. <laughs> alright, I know it's, do you, alright, who do you think is like, top? who do you think is like top? Uh, I would say you, the, the, the hat, kind of, kind of always dominant. What do you mean, the hat? What's the hat mean? I don't know, it just, it's big suits it. Damn. But you said I was more, I was like more, more I was outgoing, more outgoing one. Outspoken. Exactly. That's why I. That's Doesn't why that I, make me top though? No. Not always. Not I always. Bro, I guess like the, I guess typically like the girls are the ones who talk a lot, huh? Not the guy, not the boyfriends. There he goes. Uh, so I'm like the girl. I wouldn't say that necessarily. That's kind of like making it a little black and white. Yeah. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> it's kind of. A, it's not. It's not the same. I mean, I have, I do have a slight autism, so I can only see in black and white. Are you are being serious? Yes. Yeah, he's being serious. Yeah. Wow. I don't really know how to respond. To that. <laughs> I just yeah. you. <laughs> I was just like a, a blanket statement. I was just like, all right. No, I'm just, I'm just fucking with you, bro. I mean, I do have it, but I'm not. It, I don't see things in black and white. I'm just stuck with you. My hair is purple. My next question is gonna be like, what color do you think your hair is? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, so that's the bill. Let's see here. I just we'll just split half and half. Yeah, yeah. Can we see two cards? Split it. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Go right down the I would never. Yeah, would never. Oh shit. Oh, thank you, man. Did you on your card? Uh, my my dog did. Oh okay. yeah. Yeah. Not me. I mean, you should pay since you're top. No, yo, Rose doesn't always talk. No, no, I said that too. You should pay since you're top, bro. Realistically. Dude, everyone thinks I chewed my car. Like, it's clearly the dog. Why the fuck would I do it? Every time, it's like, you chew it? Yeah, why would I chew it? It's clearly not. They me. assume it was you over an animal. Uh, I every know. Time. Imagine that. Like, why, why would I do that? I I'm should get a paid, new car. Bro. I keep forgetting to get a new car. I keep forgetting entirely about it. I told you off the top. Because you're like silly and you're like talkative. And I'm just sitting here like fucking chilling. No? I think that's why I'm the top. I mean, if it wasn't me doing stuff, what the fuck would we be doing on the street? I'm not saying it's bad. What do you mean? We've both been talking the whole time. You sure just naturally like silly. I'm a more serious guy. <laughs> What's wrong, dude? I was gonna, I was gonna like put it into your mouth, and then I decided that that would be the grossest. No, thing I would time. do it. I would eat it. I decided that that would be the grossest thing. I thought this was the perfect song I've ever witnessed to have our first kiss to. Nah. Not. Yeah. Definitely not. Let me see. I don't want any dessert. They have like hazelnut shit. And, like, pay? Ice cream, tiramisu, like that. Nothing great. I, I only really like the chocolate cakes. They don't have one. Thanks. That's a little bit. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. Thank you, man. That was a slamming pizza. I'm glad you like it. Do you, have you ever heard of the, the phrase slamming? Yes, sir. Like really? Yeah. Yeah. I've never heard that. Where are you from? Um, mostly Texas. Uh, I was born in Las Vegas, so. And you know slamming? That's like an East Coast thing. My dad's from Philadelphia. Okay, there, there, there it is. Because yeah. I never heard it until he started saying it. I'm from Florida. You had never heard it? I've never heard slam. What the fuck? I never heard that really? shit before. Oh. You gentlemen have a great rest of your Thank, Thank you. I appreciate it. Two each. Four total. <laughs> 
No, no, the, the, the chat is spam and tip them. All right, so and we're gonna tip. tip. We're gonna tip twenty percent. This is two dollars each. So it's like <laughs> two dollars each. Four dollars on twenty. Let's give them three dollars each. You get six on twenty. That's a good tip. <laughs> That's a good tip. Six on twenty. I know, but the chat is just it's funny. The chat is gonna spam like give them like a twenty dollar. Give them give them twenty. Give them hundred percent. I think three dollars each is good. Yeah. And he gets six he gets six on twenty. Yeah, true that. Five dollars each. Yeah, like you guys tip forty percent. Get out of here. What are you talking about? No, you don't. He got a thirty percent tip because we gave him we gave him six on twenty, it's thirty percent. Always tip twenty to thirty percent, clearly. Tripping me. Oh, you are the manager. Okay, we, we thought you fired the man. <laughs> I'm about to call him. Let's just see how many followers I have now. Their followers. Come and get your way. Hey, there you go. Hey, it was nice there to meet you guys. Y'all take care, all right? Hey, nice to see you. Right? Bye bye. Thank you. All right, the manager eating food. I don't know. It's strange. Super laid back for us right here. That's yeah. that's true. Thanks. Thanks so much. Yeah, everyone's super super cool. Yeah. It makes it, that's that's dope. That's like a good work environment. It makes it like you know fucking get your job. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <gasps> my candy! I left oh, my no. candy, dude. Oh no! <laughs> Bro, if the chat didn't say candy, I would have just forgot about that. That's fifteen dollar candy. Hey, thanks, thanks, dude. I spent fifteen dollars on this. Oh, that's yeah. candy from right. Japan. From Japan? Yeah. Must be good then. Oh yeah. Thank you. Good night. Bye. It's so nice. I know, dude. I know, dude. I don't even remember what candy we bought. I bought the fucking the two Japanese things. Oh yeah, you didn't get the truffle shit. No, the, the pocky and shit, dude. You won't find this kind of people in LA. Psh, you Told won't. Gary to work there when he moves to Austin, bro. I was thinking that. I was like, I could work here. Bro, you won't. You hustle. won't. You won't find these kind of people in LA, bro. This is there. In LA, they'd be like, "So, what car did you drive in? Uh, drive here with? Oh, a Honda. Okay. Uh, are you sure you didn't want to go to that restaurant over there? Points to a box. Those are all people trying to make it that are never going to make it. Oh, you drove here in a Ferrari. Okay. Well, you know, tell me a little bit more about yourself. Realistically." Realistically, only beginning beginning stuff, brother. I mean, have yeah. I mean, I guess uh, you've been saying that for a while, though. I don't know. Or maybe I have. I don't remember. I I, now, know. now it's like I, every time we, I say it, I, it's like a mental. Every time it's, we say it, it's, it's like now I know. It, yeah. Now I know, dude. So I don't fucking know. Yo, fucking, where's the car? Where do we park at? I think it's for, this way. And we walked over this bridge. Realistically, it's probably like five minutes from here. No, it's gotta remember we walked. I know. I, trust, trust, trust. But that's the long way. That's the long way. Because we walked this way from tr trust. I think it's we're on one of those side streets. Yeah. Gary, you ain't gonna make it. Nice. You banned them in the chat. I feel offended. I feel offended. Yeah. Okay. Let's go for it's over. We're back to oh, okay. regular moderation. <laughs> we're back to regular. Back to shitland, Gary. Larry's in the chat. Let's go. Back to regular moderation. I don't gotta protect anybody <laughs> right now. So gang shit. <laughs> I only protect my contestants during events. But the when whole time it's like, don't say anything, but it's just fuck it, Larry. <laughs> the, whole, <laughs> the whole time. So I, you were saying it's during the event. I was banning everything for everyone except fuck Larry. 
Come on, dude. I literally banned Larry and fuck Larry in the no, chat. You did not ban I, Larry. I banned Larry. Say, say you, tell me right now you banned Larry. After day two, I banned the word Larry in the chat. No, you did not. They I, said it till day five. No, there's no way. Bro. I banned... All right, I manually timed out fuck Gary as well. Okay, that's one thing. But you didn't ban Larry. <laughs> they were like, cry, Gary, cry. But everybody else, it says like... It says like, I don't like you. And I ban him. <laughs> Hey, I just wanted to protect my contestants, okay? I'm a contestant. I wanted everyone to feel comfortable at the event. I wanted to feel but comfortable. Na but now that we're streaming one-on-one, -on -one, I don't care if you feel comfortable, Gary. It's either you stream with me or you don't. Cry, ice, cry. Cry, ice, cry. Cry, ice, cry. Wow, dude. Super, super, super funny and totally not toxic. As some would say. So I think we parked the car over here. Uh, yeah. It's not toxic, to be honest, with me and you, because we're, we're friends. in on it, and we're friends. Yeah. It, it feels like, a, like random people's different. But even, like, we're friends, but yeah, but even with the chat, like, we're in on it with them as well, you know? That's true. So I know we are around here somewhere. I think it's one more block down, because it's Johnny's place. I remember Johnny's. That's, the, that's what I wrote in my notes, so we can find where the car was. I wrote Johnny's bike stop. Perfect. I think that's the character. Yeah, see, I'm a genius when it comes to, to <coughs> directions, dude. I'm not good at directions. Uh, okay, but where's the car, though? Are you sure? Yeah. You walk down, no, we can down the street, I don't know why we Are you sure it's not the next one? I mean, it's, I think it's this way and the right, so we can probably go to the next one. Yeah, this is a nice area. I, I'm. This is like a place like I could live in, like an area I could live in, but I feel like I would never go to any of the stores ever if I lived around this area. I, don't, I mean, I don't really see much over here, to be honest. Some nice restaurants, that's all. Yeah, like I, I would never go to the stores. It's just like, I, I'd rather live next to a 7-Eleven than a fucking fancy Italian restaurant, <laughs> honestly. I don't know, what do you guys... In the chat, when you guys look for apartments, what do you guys look for? Anyone who's ever lived in an apartment. Like, what, what's your, like, ideal thing that you look for? Above a, location is ab most important. Above a supermarket? Oh, yeah. I mean, if it's above a grocery store, that's 100% already got me, like, super excited for, for that one. Right next to a 7-Eleven, above a, a grocery store, in, like, a plaza... Is like way, right? is like ideal, but location. Uh, you care about location more, right? Yeah. Well, I, I think location is I think is, location is probably the most important. Is it for an apartment? I think is more important. Like location crime location, and then having the space to do whatever thing you need to do in your apartment. Yes, enough space and location. Like crime rate and other like kind of shit. Like a good internet crime rate. Like this is like, I feel like if you're already in a good location, the crime rate will probably be down, as, yeah. you know, or whatever. So. Affordability as well, yeah. I mean, get the be the biggest bang for your buck would be ideal. Where's the car? I thought it was that way. I think we take a left up there. Oh. Close to a gym. I would assume, don't all apartments have just gyms inside of them? I don't know. Every apartment I've lived in has always had a gym. Maybe that's not like normal though for most apartments. No, not even the ones that were not 8K a month, dude. I, my, my second apartment in LA was 2,900, which for LA is like cheap. Like two bedroom, 2,900 in a good location. And even that had a gym. It was a, a terrible gym, but it's still a gym. I mean, does your apartment have a gym? Uh, no. No? My last one did. But this one I'm in now is only like a couple units. But the one that you, the last one you were in, how much did you pay for that? 1600? 1600 had a fucking gym, dude. Is this guy called my name? Yeah. What's up, bro? How you doing? Yeah, yeah. Jenga. Are you, are you ice? Yeah, what's up? Hello. Uh, you're, uh, you always cam, right? Sorry? You always cam, right? Yeah. You like 360? Yeah. No, I'm not actually at all. I've seen you on like Reddit and everything else. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy shit. That's yeah, that's really me. Cool. Can I get a picture of you? Yeah, sure, that's dude. Cool. Yeah. 
No, I know of you. I know. Of you said uh, you, I was like wondering what you asked. You said no, I, no, I, no, I always I, I cam. Huh. That makes sense, right? Yeah, you're from well, California or somewhere else. Yeah, somewhere I live right? here. I live here now. I know. I know you live. Here. I see Reddit. I see Instagram. You have a, you have a sub form on Reddit. Shit talker. Is that yeah. your shit talker? Sorry. No, no, Anyways. you're good, bro. Don't even worry. Right. Is, is he in this too? That's Gary the producer. So, can you take it for you? Yeah, sure. I got That's you. That's good. I can get in it, but I'll take it for you if you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can say it. Sorry. I'll be in. Really? It's ice. That's cool. There you go. Thank I'm you. I'm surprised you recognize me when you're drunk. I'm not that drunk. Um, nonetheless, though, I is pretty famous. <laughs> I've seen the. Oh, uh, you are extremely drunk. Come on. I'm not extremely really drunk. Come on, bro. No. How no. many drinks did you have? How many drinks? Uh, I've been out here since like uh, eight or something like that. Maybe, well, it doesn't matter because you can't really compare that way. But, it's like ten o'clock now. It's three hours. Is there a way to compare like drinks? Like how do you say that? Uh, I mean, I'm just going based off your speech. It's, oh, I actually have a speech impediment, which kind of sucks. But nonetheless.